Clickety click. Have you done the clicky? I've done clicky click. All right. Well, should say should be live. Okay, we are live. Well, welcome everyone to a pop up live stream build. So, this was sort of well, it has been well planned, but it's also been very rushed. But I think it's all working. We'll just ease into this one, make sure the audio is all working. Balen, myself, and uh, my cousin who's here. Uh, who's too scared to jump on camera right now, but he's hiding in the corner. He'll be trolling me from behind the camera. So he'll be an in-person troll, uh, but he might might join me at periods. And then we've got, yeah, Balin's manning the OBS stream and he'll change camera angles for us and all. He's never ever done it before. He's our video editor, but now he's also a stream operator. So yeah, we whipped all this together in the last hour and a bit. Uh, it took us significantly longer last time we had Tim. So maybe, maybe we don't need Tim. <laughs> but no, we don't have Tim, so we are missing him, missing our right-hand man. But yeah, hopefully it's all working. I've got chat up on a screen here. Um, I've had a few offers for dates and whatnot, so I appreciate that, guys. Thank you. Uh, a couple of nice walks on beaches and whatnot have been on offer. Uh, and sorry to those of you who this, the time zone is not convenient, unfortunately. Yeah, there's, there's different times around the world, apparently. It's a bit annoying, I know. Uh, yep. Yes, we do have spammy. Korg is saying get spammy on camera. So that might be something we do later. Korg, we'll, we'll look into that. He's, he's got to build up his confidence. Uh, yeah, but it, I've seen no complaints about audio or anything like that. So I think we are good. It should be in 1440p, 60 FPS. Uh, yeah, so I do live in the middle of nowhere. So the fact that we can do this is kind of a small miracle. Uh, it's a budget. <laughs> is it budget or full send? It's very much a full send build. We thought... It's kind of cool that you can build a high-end all AMD gaming PC. So we thought we would do that. Uh, this was all planned well before I did my reviews. But again, like you, you guys will have seen probably my reviews at this point. But it is a powerful product. It is a good gaming product. A few little niggles here and there. And obviously, uh, yeah, there was a couple of things like we thought AMD overhyped it a bit, price and whatnot. But as I said in my conclusion, it is a good product. So it is, it is worthy of its own build. And of course, we have the 7950X. Um, and that is very much worthy of its own build. That's a good CPU. So I think this will be a pretty cool um, system. MSI sent over a good motherboard for us. We've got some storage, liquid cooler, power supply. So yeah, and G-Skill sent over some DDR5, 6000, CL30 stuff. So I'm pretty much flying solo on this one, at least in front of the camera uh, for the most part. So I, I suppose I should get into it. Oh, we have a Lian Lee case. I haven't worked with a Lian Lee case for... I'm going to say 13 years. I don't know if it's been that long, but it's been a while. Um, so I reached out to them. They provided it. And this is a sweet looking case. So the the, the D Evo, the, the O11. So really looking forward to building in this. Bear with me. I'm I, As usual, we're not going to be reading manuals and whatnot. We're just going to wing it and see what we can do. Never built in this case. And I've never, I've seen plenty of people build in the case, but yeah, over the years. Anyway. This is the latest revision. Looks like a really cool case. So I'll move a few things aside uh, and any super chats or whatever, Balin will keep an eye on that and, and prompt me because I'm only going to glare over at the screen every now and then. If I start doing too many things at once, CPUs end up installed in power supplies and things like that. So uh, yeah, uh, maybe I'll put this over here. Put the memory there. <laughs> 7950 and 7950 when that probably will be a possibility at some point in time uh but yeah now some very cool parts as a lot of you guys are saying and yeah we'll uh so we've got the x670e ace rather expensive motherboard this one uh been using it in my test system though and it is a really good motherboard no dramas i didn't actually download the latest bios for this but we can do that later on and we'll we'll flash it when we get it up and running hopefully that's the goal of the stream anyway. Hopefully we'll get to the BIOS, but we won't be able to go any further than that. Uh, but yeah, we'll get it to the BIOS. And as for like why I'm building this PC, um, it's kind of because we can, uh, and I'm not sure, it, it, hopefully it'll end up being a test system, but I'm gonna wait till CES before I make any, um, yeah, any judgment calls or any decisions based on, um, that's interesting, this doesn't have, that's, Ooh, this fell off. It fell off in. Tr that's not good. I've had a f I've heard a few of these falling off in um, transit, but it looks like it looks like the sockets are okay. 
Ooh, that could have been dicey if we had have opened this up and there was a lot of bent pins. I think we're okay. I don't... Yeah, I think we're okay. Did I end up focusing that top-down camera properly? You did where it is now. All right, I might... Um... I might just jack it up a little bit and give it a quick refocus. Does that look okay? Yep. Anyway, we got lucky on those pins, guys. Holy moly. That was a bit scary then when I opened that up and saw that wasn't in place because that can easily fall into the socket and make a mess of it. But anyway, looks like we got away with it. So I, I believe we'll have a working motherboard. So that is good. You always like to start the stream with a working motherboard. I do have a few backup X670 boards. Actually, for those of you who have been asking, all of my X670 slash X670E VRM thermal testing and general roundup stuff is done. I've just got to finish the script. Uh, Balin spent probably a week getting B-roll of all the boards. I think it's 22 or 23. It's, all, it's basically every single X670 board on the market. It'll be a one video early January. I wanted to get it done before then, but... You know, new GPUs and stuff. Anyway, that's coming. So all these boards will get tested out. And yeah, there's um, there's some interesting stuff in there. All right, well, I'll put the, um, the CPU in. And... Squid, like, would like to thank us for all our hard work. Oh, thanks, Squid. Appreciate you. Did I, what did he say? Did, did you just say the front fell off? What's this for? Uh, all right yeah the um the the shroud cover thing for the cpu socket so have we got the top down on at the moment we might as well go main top down i reckon yeah. so you guys can see this socket actually i can probably zoom the camera in and move that how's that look yeah. happy with that mr cameraman yeah. actually i think i was the cameraman there yeah, <laughs> anyway i'll um these are a little bit sketchy to drop in. You want to make sure you get them in nice and then give them a little wriggle in each direction to make sure you've seated it nicely. So we've got that in there, 7950X. You don't want to mess that up. Put that down. Normally, um, normally you would have, not that this is a guide or anything like that, but normally if the motherboard comes to you, I think this motherboard's been tested um, at factory because I see a little bit of thermal paste. So they probably wanted to make sure the board worked before we did it live. Uh, and sometimes when you pull these off, they don't ever go back on properly or they can be a bit difficult to clip on. But normally, put the CPU on the socket, put that down. Sometimes you have to just press it down a little bit here, pull the latch back, and then that'll pop off just like that. Make sure the latch is in under there. And that's it, CPU installed. There's a little bit of thermal paste there. So yeah, I'll zoom that back out a bit because if we do the case again, we want to make sure that'll fit. So weird saying AMD LJ. Yeah, it is a bit. Um, and yeah, sorry for not reading the chat too much, guys. If there's anything interesting, uh, Balin, feel free to to uh, to read it out. Okay, so we've got the CPU in and I believe all the pins are good. So we should be pretty good there. I'll move this box aside. How are you going over there, Chris? Are you enjoying the live live stream? <laughs> Um, I have had a cold the last few days after the 7900 XT review went up. I, I lost my voice pretty much completely. Um, yesterday it was coming back a bit. It's a bit off today, you can possibly tell. I don't know how it's going to go with me talking the whole time, but we'll we'll see. It's used to me waffling on. Um, SSD. Uh, what went wrong with the XTX? Do you think I'll fix it with drives and bio? What went wrong? Um... <laughs> Well, I mean, it works, so there's that. Like I said, I didn't want to make it sound like it was broken or anything in my review. I know other reviewers have found some weird things like power behavior. Um, a few other people talked about the crashing and stuff that we talked about, but probably just an early driver thing, hopefully. Uh, of course, there is the weird clock discrepancies between games. Some games it'll clock right up, and then other games it'll drop by significant margins. It's like, Normally, we're used to seeing clock speeds within sort of a hundred megahertz tolerance, depending on games. Uh, but with these, yeah, the swings of like 500 megahertz. Uh, and then why they didn't hit the performance targets that they, they claimed they were going to hit. And I think it's pretty clear they didn't hit those targets. So what went wrong? Drivers, bit of architectural problem. I don't know. I honestly don't know. I'd just be guessing. There's probably very few people um, who 
who do know, at least outside of AMD, there's probably next to nobody. Uh, but yeah, it, I would be, I'd be very hesitant to say that, you know, it's going to get a lot faster with driver updates. We, you know, that's not an un uncommon thing for AMD. We generally see their products improve over time with stability and performance. Could that happen? It could, uh, but I wouldn't, I certainly wouldn't promise it. We'll just have to monitor the situation, keep benchmarking and, and, and see how, how drivers stabilize clock speeds and overall performance. But there's a good chance there is more to be had there for sure based on what we're seeing. But whether they can get it or not remains to be seen. So I wouldn't buy, I certainly wouldn't recommend you buy on the hope that drivers will improve um, because there could be a year of just ironing out bugs before they even look at performance. So by the time they add like maybe 10% more performance or whatever, it could be two years down the track. Uh, and we, because when we saw DirectX 11 performance, was it, am I recalling correctly, for RDNA 2, improved like only months ago. Anyway, rather than me waffle on, because we'll probably, Tim and I will cover all of this in depth and a bit better thought out, and we'll have a better discussion when there's both of us in the Q&A series, which will be coming up. Uh, we might be filming that next week. Anyway, it's not too far away. What am I doing here? So, I have the Spatium. It is the Spatium. M460. So I think this is a newer model. I haven't seen this model before. It's still a PCIe 4.0 NVMe SSD. We've got the two terabyte model. So we've got quite a few of the uh, different Spatium SSDs in use around the office. Balen, I believe we used one in your gaming PC as your primary drive. Yeah. Yep. yep. And that's all. Yeah, it's running too. You haven't lost all your data? Not yet. All right, good, good. <laughs> good. Um, so I'm probably going to have to take the the pre-installed m.2 uh heatsink off this if we want to install it in the board so let me you can go top down again if you want but yeah we have a lot more benchmarking to be done um yeah a lot more so that'll be fun we'll get into that uh as soon as possible but yeah, January, expect a lot of big benchmark videos, probably some CPU, GPU scaling stuff. I know a lot of you have been requesting that. But I also have a lot, a lot of motherboards. Balen is kind of, I don't know, maybe in motherboard hell. Over uh, <laughs> you're over at Balen? Every time he comes into the studio or the office, there's probably like three or four new motherboards, whether it be Z790, B650. We've got all the X670 uh, boards finally, so... Um, He's had to stop dealing with walking and seeing new ones of those. All right, I'm just going to... I'm using my LTT screwdrivers, by the way. I'll move this aside, but I mean, I'm just unscrewing. I've not taken this particular version off before, but hopefully I can do this without too much of an issue. I'm using my very, very old and heavily used original GN mod mat. Um, I love this thing. And it has seen some stuff. Uh, my, my cousin Chris who helped me build, uh, I should actually say it, yeah, my cousin Chris appeared in a video where I built my streaming PC earlier in the year. Was it around, I want to say March? Yeah, March. March was it? Yeah. So yeah, that's who Chris is. He's been in a video on the channel before. Uh, we built my streaming PC and that went well. And um, yeah. Probably not. Seems a little bit out of our wheelhouse. And like that sort of stuff we look at if we're really desperate for content. Like there's not much going on, not much interesting. So, you know, I think I bought the... Is it the A4? I forget now. I bought I bought one at one point. Um, but yeah. All right. So I'm probably going to need a flathead screwdriver to pull this out. Because I don't think my fingers are going to cut it. Well, I'll um, turn to my trusty screwdriver here. So I've got a, a fine flathead bit. This might work. I think you gently caress these off by just... Hmm. I don't want to break anything. Oh, here we go. Uh, like the motherboard headers or, or the fan controls in the case. 
Uh, it really depends. Bit of both. Depends on if the case one works really well. Usually that's pretty convenient. Mate, this has a lot of suction. They didn't. I don't, I don't believe they're really intending you to remove this, by the way. Just quietly. Now I've got to try and peel all this off. Mc88DX asks, what's the slowest DDR4 RAM speed and timing you go with for 4K gaming with a 12700K and 3080 Ti? Yeah, I wouldn't go that because, I mean, just because you're gaming at 4K, it depends on what type of games you're playing as well. Because even if you're playing, like, you know, Warzone or whatever, um, you'd still be, well, if it depends on how seriously you're playing it, but I imagine you'd still want competitive settings. That's what you use for Warzone, isn't it? Like more, a mixture of sort of high and basic type settings. So the slowest I'd go is probably like, especially depending on timings, but probably around the 3200 mark is the slowest I'd bother with. Generally speaking, you're not saving any money going below sort of probably 3600 at this point. So, yeah. All right, I'll bring this back over. We've got the top down still going on. All right, so we'll pop that in like so. It's a little bit messy because that pre-applied thermal uh, pad was there but that's that's done that is the ssd successfully installed and we're just going to whip that off yeah that's the right one we're golden pop that in this thing just keeps sticking to me go away i'm done with you How high would I go with the motherboard or the memory? Yeah, motherboard. The motherboard. Mm -hmm. uh, as in, so if you buy like a B650 board now, what will it support in the future? Is that the sort of question where? I guess so, yeah. Um, I think pretty much most of the, the motherboards we have now, the 600 series boards from AMD. Am I going? Um, I think most of them would be fine. I, again, I haven't done the 650 stuff. So I don't know for sure. Why why is this one not going into its home, Balin? Uh yeah. X X670 boards. Um, you should be pretty safe no matter which way you go there. I would have thought maybe I'll do this end first. Okay, that one went in straight away. Why is this one being difficult? Oh, maybe it's offset a bit. Must be there. Yeah, okay. I was trying to line it up with this piece here, but you know, it doesn't line up perfectly. It's part of the design. Okay. We've got got the uh, M.2 drive in, got the CPU in. I suppose we'll do our fancy Trident Z DDR5 memory. You know what I don't have over here, Balin? What's that? My trusty scissors. Ah. Well, I'll go back around so I don't walk in front of the camera. I didn't know I left them with you. Thank you very much. No All right, I'll just... Um, we've got a super chat from Carl. What graphics card do you recommend to replace the EVGA 1080? To replace an EVGA 1080? Mm. Well, basically anything that represents good price to performance in Canada. Um, a 1080. So what is that? RTX 2060-ish performance. Have I got that right? I think that's... I think that's right if I recall correctly. So, yeah, I mean, that would be a big performance upgrade for sure. Uh, but basically anything along those lines, you, you know, you can check reviews on what sort of performance uplift that'll give you, but that would be... A substantial performance uplift uh, and you just got to make sure you're getting it at a good price all right so we'll just go in that one first i did the memory like this once and someone told me i was starting in the wrong slot because you know starting that slot of ice it's like it doesn't matter as long as you put them in the right slots the computer is none the wiser which one you put in first but that's actually in the wrong ones anyway so that was a bad demonstration there the slots you wanted in for two sticks for dual channel and then just push each end in Sometimes they can be a bit, um, for the first time, a bit difficult to get in, but you get that click and all good. 
So that's that done. Uh, but yeah, giving recommendations on what specific upgrades people should make for their region is difficult because it really comes down to what you have available. Um, yeah, but if you go to like my latest 7900 XTX review, you'll see at least from Newegg a cost per frame comparison. And what you guys can easily do is take that 16 game average data, you get the price for the particular model available in your region, and you divide the price by the FPS number. So if it's 80 frames per second, divide $500 if that's what it costs by 80 FPS, that'll give you a cost per frame. And you can do that for the different options available in your region. And that'll quickly let you know which one is um, you know, good value, not good value. If they're similar value, then you work out, do I want the Radeon one or the GeForce one? What features am I after? All that sort of stuff. So although the pricing may not be relevant to you, um, you, you can work out cost per frame pretty quickly. All right, well, we've got the memory in, we've got the CPU in, we've got the storage in. So we've got cooler, power supply case, graphics card, all that sort of stuff. So I'll clean all this stuff up quickly and then we'll continue moving on with it. I'm seeing a lot of questions there, Balaam, but... There's a few. Echo asked if the CPU matters for 4K gaming or if all modern chips are pretty good. Uh, all modern chips are pretty good, but again, like, 4K gaming is too much, too general of a term these days because like I've played Fortnite at 4K and still got like 300 frames per second because I'm using mostly low quality settings with like epic draw distance. Uh, most Warzone 2 players that are pretty serious about, you know, winning, they will be doing the same sort of thing. So you could still be getting high frame rates at 4K if you're playing competitively. You may not necessarily be playing at 4K, but you can. It, it's it's an option but if you're playing you know assassin's creed valhalla and horizon zero dawn at 60 fps because you want all the visual quality settings turned right up then the cpu is less of an issue having said that if you've got things like ray tracing enabled that can significantly increase cpu utilization so you may want a better cpu but for the most part, something like a 5600 will work just fine. And I'm sure many of you have found that that own them. Are you not done yet? I'm, well, I'm, I've done the CPU. So, and I've done the SSD and I've done the memory. So I've done three things. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm very much taking my time. If I was building this off camera, we probably would have built two computers by now. But cable management might not be that good. But we would have done two computers. Uh, okay. Just love how I'm using an RTX... Uh, sorry, an RX 7900 XTX box. With all these RTXs, RXs, XTXs. Oh, I was like, why have I got blue tack in my hand? But it's that thermal pad that I mushed up. Oh, Kevin, how you going, mate? Loving the live stream. Good stuff. Good to see you there, Kev. Kevin often tunes into the gaming unbox gaming streams we do, where we mess around with Balin and Chris and whoever else. All right, so the case I know very little about. Actually, I should move those screws there from the, uh, the M.2 drive. I'll just... Steve, are you surprised the XTX is uh, under two grand in Australian dollars, even aftermarket models? Um, yeah, yep. Especially given... Well, we always knew that probably in Australia it might end up being pretty good value. Of course, I think it's next week, Tim will be doing his GPU uh, pricing analysis and availability and all that, and we'll be looking at sales and all that sort of stuff. So we'll have a good idea of what's going on there. Um, yeah, it'll be it'll be interesting. But yeah, like I said, it's not a bad product. Uh, and it, 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 yeah, basically I said it all the review. Uh, a bit of a shame that AMD made those performance claims they made. Um, obviously they were hoping for slightly better targets than what they got. Uh, we got 35% fast in the 6950 XT. I think Tech Power Up got like, um, did I say 35%? Because yeah, we got 35%. Tech Power Up got like 36%. So that's pretty much what it is. It's not that much faster. Than, I mean, it, that's a decent performance uplift from a 6950 XT. But if you're expecting like maybe more like 50%, then it's a bit disappointing. Uh, yeah. So, um, so this is the... 011 or R11, how you want to say it, D uh, Evo case. So nice metal grill on the top here, uh, bit of glass on the front. There's a, so the airflow comes through the side here. Um, so yeah, 
Really awesome case. I know it's very popular. I keep kicking it. I should have moved this stool out of the way. No, it's too late now. Um, I have no idea what I'm doing here. So let's let's just um, start taking it apart. And we'll, we'll see where we end up. Hopefully we have a working computer at the end of it. But there's no guarantee. So that's the fun part of watching. You can see me stuff it up. So how do we... Does this... Oh, there's a screw there. I see. I reckon that has to come out. Now, what, what I recommend you guys do is not do as I do. Um, read the manual. Research properly. But these live streams aren't about well-researched builds. They're about having fun, being a bit of a dope, and just entertaining you guys and chatting and answering chat and building computers at, at snail's pace. Uh, we'll put that there. Um, Skillis has asked a few times if you've seen the overclock 3.2 gigahertz Asus Tough model that was 10 to 15 percent faster. I have heard about that and I do have that model. I'm, I've, I've sort of taken, apart from the few hours that we're building this, this PC, I've taken sort of a, a, a holiday. So I've got some family down, Chris being one of uh, the family members, and I'm not really working. But we're doing this, uh, and I'll get into the AIB cards, the, the partner cards, next week. But I've got about six of them. Um, we can maybe grab some of them and show you, but there's probably a lot of reviews of them. We've got Power Color, Sapphire, XFX. Uh, we've got Gigabyte, um, Asus, as we just mentioned. So yeah, there's plenty of work to be done, but I'm taking a bit of a break because this year has been crazy and I need a break. So I've taken one, kind of, but I'm also doing a live stream right now. How do we take this door off, guys? Someone in chat who knows, tell me. We're, we're, this is an interactive um, build experience. All right. I feel like it comes up almost. Well, we'll work that out as we go. I'll take this off. Some cats fighting outside. If you heard that on stream. I could turn to the manual, but I'm hoping we don't have to. So I took those out. Does that lift out now? Hmm. If I get desperate, I'll get Balin to come and help. Um, oh yeah, they won't be able to hear you yeah. yet. <laughs> yeah, they won't be able to hear you at all. It just pops off, they said. Oh, it does. Okay. A slight amount of violet. So you got some, yep, easy enough. All right, good. You can see I told you, with the power of chat, we'll get this done. So, yeah, it all comes apart really nicely, doesn't it? Well, I would say that's pretty much all the access we need. Maybe the radiator um, shrouds taking them out would work and make it a bit easier. But we'll see. We'll see. I'll probably put the motherboard in first. But yeah, it's a really nice, well thought out looking case. I like it already. Okay, we'll lay that down. Have we got the... You like that? Yep. Now I do have screws somewhere. You need those when you build a computer. <laughs> Balin's playing Fortnite while he uh, <laughs> everything I got to yell here. We are going to play some games tonight. Actually, we'll, we'll definitely stream tonight on on the Gub channel. Uh, Chris is going to join us. We'll have Balin. Balin's um, going to stay late tonight, so it should be a good time. Got lots of like little bits and pieces and knickknacks. So it looks like we've got all the uh, the standoffs we need. So we'll lower it in. We need some sort of like um, construction site beeping sound. Or oh, this motherboard overhangs a lot, but that's all right, I think. If we were a professional channel, I would have researched this and um, worked out the best way to do it, but we're not, so it's fine. People know what they're getting here. I'll probably have to put some fans in here later, I reckon, because they'll essentially be the front fans, like the intake fans. So I'll have fans here pushing air into the case. I'll probably mount the AO up here. Just do the standard graphics card. I think it'll work. 
No removable motherboard tray? I don't know. Who does that anymore? It's pretty easy. But yeah, I, you can take this entire case apart and invert the build if you want to. So it, the motherboard tray would very much be removable if you want it to uh, be so. <laughs> Since it's unprofessional, this motherboard be thick. It is a thick board. Uh, okay, let's screw the motherboard in because if I, I'll forget that I haven't screwed it in and then you stand it up and the motherboard just flies out that way. They call that a Linus moment. So we want to avoid Linus moments. Uh, right. I reckon these are the screws that we want. I should have been putting the screws on the, the mod mat section for the screws. That way you can actually see the black screws. I was putting them in the middle and they were just like gone. Lost. Uh, I think, I think we'll have, I think we'll have room. I think we'll have room. But if we have to rebuild this um, like six times, then I will have juiced the stream perfectly. So we'll see We'll see what we can do here. <laughs> Rest in peace, LTT. Uh, it was only a joke. We like Linus. Only a joke. You having a drink, mate? Where's my drink? Why don't I get a drink? No, I'm good, thanks. I'll spill it everywhere and then people will laugh at me. More so than they already are. But I figured if I built in the MSI case that I built in the last two times and know really well, you guys would start getting bored. I'm too efficient in that case now. Because what was Balin's PC build went flawlessly. Whereas Matt's one was an absolute cluster. So that's what we're aiming for. We're aiming for a mess. Okay, one of these. See, if we were doing a build video, this is the stuff you just show once and then skip the rest because it's really boring. Because half of it's me trying to find the right screws. Looks like we've got quite a few of the uh, Discord members in chat. They're the ones you've got to watch out for, like Luke. Watch out for Luke. He's always up to something. And Kevin. And Rump. Where is your cider, Steve? What's that? Rump asked where your cider is. Oh, my cider. I'm saving them for tonight. The boys are getting into them now, but I'm going to save mine for tonight. Which is probably shortly after this stream's done. I'll crack open my first one and then we're on. Um, okay, so the motherboard. I think we've got nine screws in there. Nope, we've got eight. Right, we might as well do them all, because if I miss one, the comment section will come alive if I miss one of these screws. It'll be on. People do not appreciate you missing those screws. Get a screwdriver noob. <laughs> I mean, I've got I've got two screwdrivers here. Um, all right. But I like my little um, gyroscopic drill. It's good. It's fast as. I, it allows me to sit around talking. See, I've done all the screws now. You impressed? Um, okay, <clears throat> we'll move this aside. Oh no, was that James Smart? Yep. Oh no, James is here, everyone. What did he say? We'll need to catch up with the rest of the board uh, tonight. Um, vid tonight. Vid, yep. Oh, okay, awesome. No worries, James. No worries, you can catch up with it tonight. Okay, liquid cooler. <laughs> uh, the guys in chat always crack me up. Do you sell the PCs I build? God no. Never buy a PC I've built. Don't do that. Usually, um, I like half slap them together for test systems and stuff like that. Uh, I'm not a fan of cable management. I will probably do it for this one. Uh, but yeah. I mean, Balin's computer's worked flawlessly, so there's that. Yeah. And he's even gotten a bit better, I think, at Warzone. So... Uh, so he's got it already. Yep. I mean, is it doing everything you want? Are you seeing the 10 gigs of VRAM being maxed out constantly? So that, again, that's like a hard one for me to answer. Really only you can answer that one. Um, if it's for productivity, time, maybe money. But 
I don't know how much VRAM your specific workload's using on that card. If it turns out it's using two gigs of VRAM, then probably not. Um, and maybe see if you can do some research um, if someone's done benchmarking of your particular application and, and what the higher and more expensive models offer. Because chances are you could buy, you know, a 4090 and see no performance improvement or very, very little. So, yeah, it's hard for me to answer that one for you. Just got to look into those things. Uh, all right, I'm going to move this just here for a moment. Hopefully I don't stand on it. And we'll secure these fans. So I didn't... The radiator will probably be mounted that way. So I'll flip these all around, I reckon, is the way to go there. How wonderful is this? Well, thank you, Leon, that's very nice. Glad you're finding this wonderful. Even the boys here wouldn't be that kind. Not even close, not even close. All right, I'll get my, my uh, I don't know, drill noob. I'm not, I'm not sure what, the, um, what, I, what I go with that one. But we'll, we'll go with drill noob, I guess. Giving my wrist a break. I've got to do all these flick shots tonight. I've got to carry Balin and Chris to some victories. I've got to stay limber. Uh, we will put a parts list in the video description after the video is done because I hadn't pr prepared that and it's my fault. I'm trying to blame it on Balin, but I don't really know how to work that in there. So I'm going to have to own it. I just didn't do it. POV of something I'll never build myself. Oh, well, you never know. All right. Better make sure I don't pinch that cable under there. The Gamers Nexus mat, yes. As I said earlier, it's seen some stuff. Um, this one is, it's the one of the originals. It must be six or so years old at this point. I've had it for a long time. Steve sent it to me uh, quite a long time ago. And yeah, I've used it a lot. It's had many liquid cooling builds and spills and stuff on it. Uh, it's, it's, I've given it a hard time. Yeah. Do you see games needing more than 32 gig of memory in the next five years? <laughs> God, hell of a question. <laughs> uh, my gut says no, but, you know, they... Not necessarily... Not needing, but being able to utilize for, like, high-quality texture packs. I don't know. I'd say no if I had to guess, but... Oh, my God, I just dropped a screw in there. Uh, but, honestly, anything's possible. I'm struggling with, um, I'm going to have to just turn it that way, I think, which is annoying. I was hoping to get the cables closer together. Um, yeah, I'm going to go with no, it, as in no, it won't even be able to utilize that much, put it to good use, but, you know, could be completely wrong on that one. It certainly won't be a requirement. You'll be able to play at a very high visual level without requiring... That much VRAM is my guess. Mitch asks, at what point does the cable price management ratio impact gaming performance? I think um, when you can't carry your computer to LAN parties anymore because there's that many cable ties in it. Alright. I'll just put the rest of these in. The Arctic Liquid Freezer has way better... Uh, look, I don't disagree with you on that one. That, that cooler is probably the best AO I've seen um, in terms of design. It's very impressive. Everyone needs to buddy go copy that because, uh, yeah, it's very well done. And I, I do have one somewhere. Now, I dropped a washer somewhere. We're never going to see it again, are we? At least I think I did. Uh, the Waltz, so it's all up again. No. Gyroscopic freezer. 
If I have to explain and show this tool off again, I'm definitely going after DeWalt for money. <laughs> now, did I drop the washer on the ground? I think I'm going to have to go without. And I'll have to look for it later. I think I might have dropped it. I just won't do this up very tight. Because right. we could um we could send out a search party for that. Could take some time. All right. So we've got our fanned little heady thingies. Um, I thought we would have a cable they all go into. Oh yes, it's here. Yeah, there are a lot of cables on this one, but it does look very cool. So it's like, there is that. Looks quite impressive. All right, we're going to need these in a minute. Uh, I'm just going to put that up here. Get our computer back. Oh, no. I suppose I shouldn't be complaining. I just found the washer. Just found the washer. One moment, please. It's always the way. I used to have to go looking on the floor later. I was probably going to make bail and do that, to be fair. <laughs> you got better eyesight, you younger guys. All right. Problem solved. Uh, where is the AMD mounting gear? So I reckon we want it to go on probably that way. So that means that wants to go like that, I reckon. Uh, AM4, beautiful. Hopefully that works with AM5, I'm pretty sure it does. So we'll just take one end off at a time so the back plate doesn't fall out. Though I think it's actually, oh no, that's not going to happen with AM5. I'll just crank this up to max. Pop these on. What are we blaming me for? It's probably right though. Yeah. <laughs> what? What was that? <laughs> Settle down over there. Ooh, does this? This does have it does have pre-applied thermal paste, but it's such a small amount. I might honestly. Eh, I'll go with it originally. We'll check it later, but it's, it's only a very small circle now normally I'd have someone help hold the radiator always get a friend when doing this part are oh, you gonna you coming over now are you uh, hold that thanks Chris he's my lovely helper my lovely assistant Chris is like I'm just not gonna say anything I'm just gonna hold the thing he doesn't want to say the wrong thing I'm like, have you seen me do this? Filter's not so great. <laughs> All right. Got some interesting chats coming through though. Yeah. Uh, there's always interesting chat. You can always rely on the chat to be interesting. If nothing else. We got some oi Chris's. Damn, Matt's changed. <laughs> <laughs> Shrunk a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, that was bad. I left that on max. I could have just about. Steve, if you're building, what do you do if you don't have any friends? Um, oh, it's rough. You've got to kind of just hope for the best. you got to be, if you don't, you got to make up for your lack of friends in very good balancing abilities. Just a few pieces of timber, chalk it up. Yeah. So actually, I have potentially done these. Mm. 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 Do we go like yeah, that? Sorry. Hitting the card, though. Just kind of... We'll go with this for now. I may change it later. Often I end up changing things. 
because I end up not liking it. We'll go with this for now, and we'll see we'll see what drawbacks this leads to, and then um, and then we'll change it if we have to. And yeah, if you don't have a friend, just call Chris. He's probably going to be available. <laughs> and if you're not live streaming, he'll be over in a heartbeat. If you're not live streaming, I'm there. Yeah, he'll be um, really, really thrilled to hear you're not live streaming. If you are live streaming, probably don't call him. Yeah, sick. He's not super reliable. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, all right. You know what's annoying? I think I've got to take this out anyway because you can't access most of the... So if you want to hold that there, this probably slides back. Now, I should have done... I've actually done this, unsurprisingly. I'm glad you know what you're doing. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm successfully... Um, yeah, lift, lift it a little bit for me. There you go. I think it's fine if you need two people to build a computer. They're not meant to be done by a single human being, surely. No one ever does that. You've come in real handy. All right, I'll just put one more in. That'll be ample to keep this thing from falling apart. All right, now, if we lower that back down. Oh no, we've gone in on the wrong angle. It's all over. I oh, know, we recovered. Uh, so you just want to get that popped in there. That one. Yeah, I am. Um, I could have shown this better, Valen. Uh, there. There we go. All right. The tubes look more natural that way. Like yeah. they're not as sort of contorted, bent in the wrong way. So then these we want to run up through the grommets up here, make that all nice and neat. And yeah. It's a nice board. Yeah, it is a really nice motherboard. It does work well. All right, so we've got everything secured now. We can stand it up without anything falling out. I just go, the whole thing falls out. <laughs> Linus is sitting there laughing. Okay, let's, let's just remove. There's a this. lot going on in this case. Yeah, it is, but it's cool how, um, it's awesome. yeah, it's cool. You've got the power supply, a little basement here. You've got your um, three and a half inch drives there. Good, massive cable management channel there. Really good. I like that. Except I'm going to need to grab a spare bloody light soon because I can't, can't see that well. Anyway, it's all right. We'll, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Uh, yes, yes, I do. I left it on max because one of the one of the um, AM5 screws was done up really tight. So I cranked it to max, undid it, and then I just did it on nearly. And like on max, it will shear those things off with ease. So I um I got lucky that I let go of the trigger just as it was probably about to destroy it. That would have been a little bit embarrassing. A little bit. Yeah. So that, that's why they say don't use power tools for that sort of stuff because you've got to make sure the torque settings right. That guy that called you a noob before. He's on oh, he was onto it. I didn't even challenge him. <laughs> I was like, yep. I was like, he's watched the channel before. He knows. All right. Uh, I'm just plugging in the fan headers. I'm not turning the case around because I'm being lazy. I feel like if you're honest about it, it's fine. Yeah. It's all good. Yep. All right, they're plugged in. It's not that exciting. Nah. So, so we'll um, tidy up these cables a bit later on and make them look all neat and tidy. But for now, I think that's working. Uh, we'll put this safely over there. We don't need this. Uh, I'm just going to chuck everything back in the bag. Wrong M.2 slot. Is it in the wrong M.2 slot? What was the question? 
Just a statement, wrong, I think. Wrong. Yeah. Wrong M.2 slot. I think it's in the right one, actually. Just quietly. But if we can't find the SSD, I'll keep your comment in mind. I don't know why that would be the wrong one, though. I believe it's the primary. That should be connected to the CPU. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's where it is in my test system, and it works just fine. Maybe he's just trolling us like you guys like to do. All right. I always I should get a little bin before I do this. That's all right. All right. We'll chuck that back on there. I'll just throw that down there. And that is the liquid cooler done. Nitro Plus or Red Devil? Ooh, did you want to get both of those cards to show them yeah. side by side? And yeah. I actually can't answer that question. Sorry, you've wasted your $2 there, Dominic. But um, they both look good. Honestly, the right they both look good. They both look good. Um, yes, yeah, so they're the boxes. Did you want to just whip them out over oh, there? Because yeah. we're going to have so much stuff everywhere. Yeah. I think the, ooh, the Red Devil might actually be in my graphics card drawer. Let me have a look. Uh, there are here before 90s. Uh, there it is. I'm just going to go under the camera. Uh, Hold on. Just give me a minute. This one has a bit over here. Yeah, yeah, no, take your time. There's no hurry. It's a side project. I like that. I'm off cam. Yep. Take your time, mate. Okay. Power supply, I reckon, would be the next ingredient. Oh my god. All right, fine. I, I'm actually, I'm insulted at this. That's awesome. I'm annoyed. I'm actually annoyed. With that kind of sass, you better be on uh, gaming on box later. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um, yes. I do have screwdrivers. Okay. Uh, so just enough with the, the screwdriver jokes, guys. It's insulting. I don't want to leave that on, sorry. Oh, you want to look? Nah, ba Balin will get the B-roll shortly. Okay, so that's most of the stuff off. All right. So that's the power color model. And that's the sapphire model. Both similar in terms of dimensions, similar size. I don't know. It's a personal preference thing probably. I, I'd be shocked if they're not both good performers. Mm. I'll find out for you guys soonish. They're both very heavy. Similar weight. They look great. Similar weight using these. Like using these. Good. Yeah, I, I like. I reckon this looks pretty sleek. A bit more neutral. Bit, yeah. yeah. But anyway, they're both good looking cards. Both got three uh, eight pin power connectors. The back of the sapphire looks pretty sleek as well. <laughs> no liner screwdriver. One of these things here. <laughs> yeah, they're liner screwdrivers. Weight difference. Uh, I haven't put them on the scales, but they felt very similar. Surprisingly similar, I would say. So I'd say they're within 100 grams of each other, but maybe the specs will say on the websites. All right. Um, yeah, if, if you have a problem with it, you can switch back over to mine. So you can grab it off my desk. The stream will go down though for a minute. So we'll wait till the very last. Hopefully. Uh, okay, leave the power cord there, the power supply. We'll get the uh, cables out. Uh, we'll move this across out of the way a little bit more. Uh, I can probably get rid of the box. Or at least put that to the side. Actually, I'm going to chuck a heap of the rubbish in that for now. Right. 
Okay, probably start with the 24 pin ATX power cable. Alright. <laughs> Thanks, Scott. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to go with that hammer on box. If you do Wi-Fi on Chris's, yep. you're about to change over. Yeah. Uh, okay, I think we. Yep, I know what we're, I know what we're doing. Did I miss a super chat or are we good? Gay murder gang. Did I miss it or we didn't? No, no, we didn't miss it. Okay, cool. Thanks, Scott. Oh, right. Yep. Yeah. yeah, thanks, Scott. Appreciate you. Uh, just joined that case as a real chonker. Uh, yeah, sort of. It's kind of, it's, it's, well, it's yeah, it's wider, but it's not, it's not huge or anything. It's very light, which is what I like about it because the last few builds we've done have been backbreakers. No, we probably don't need those cables, probably don't need those, and then we'll just need two, because uh, we don't, unfortunately we can't use that, which is the PCI Express 5.0 power connector, the 12 pin or 16 pin if you count the sense pins. Alright, what are you two laughing at over there? <laughs> no anti-static wristband, I do have a wireless one somewhere. <laughs> All right, beautiful. Uh, Lewis asks, what's the weirdest BIOS bug slash troubleshoot you've had to deal with? Oh, there's been so many crazy weird ones that just don't make sense. But honestly, I forget them. As soon as we sort of work them out, I'm like, that was horrific. And then we move on. Um, <clears throat> off the top of my head, I can't even think of... Um, yeah, I'll have a think while I'm going, but yeah, there's been some unbelievably weird, unexplainable things uh, happen. So, actually, I'm just going to grab a light quickly and give me one second, guys. Uh, do we have one of those lights just floating around? Yes. I just need this for the back of the case. <clears throat> just so I can see what's going on before I try to explain what's going on. Is that a Lego set in the background? Yes, it is. My daughter made that. Um, she was only eight when she did it, so she was very proud of herself. Um, and the story goes, she spent about four days building it. She did a couple of mega sessions. I was quite impressed. Anyway, she loves her Lego. Got it built. And then Balin walked in to the house and saw it and said, oh, wow, I bet you can get a light kit for that. Uh, so she was like, oh, really? And Balin's like, yeah, yeah. And uh, I said, oh, if I get one, will you install it? And Balin sort of said, oh, yeah, yeah, I'll do it. So anyway, I jumped online, bought the light kit for it. It took Balin, how many hours do you want to say on stream? Five or six. Five or six, okay. Five. I was going to say five or six, yeah. but I didn't want to stitch you up too no, much. No, uh, and Balin was not happy, regretted everything. And if Lego light kits come up, he kind of visually shivers. Very tedious. Yeah, so I always, whenever we get a new Lego kit for the girls, I say, ah, we should get the light kit and you can install that, Balin. He, he doesn't, doesn't even laugh, doesn't smile, doesn't see the funny side of that comment at all. Like, not at all. I have um, cut my finger a little bit. It's bleeding. Just ignore it if you see it. It's fine. I'll, I'll be fine. Don't panic. Thanks for your concern, though. Mostly you, Chris. I heard that snide comment. <clears throat> uh, okay, we do have a grill for the power supply, so we'll put it in. All right, I'll turn, I'll turn this around so I can actually show what I'm doing. 
Oh. I don't know if this light's annoying, but it's necessary for me to see. So I'm going to mount the power supply in that away. So it just sits there. There was a rubber block. I don't know if we'll need that. I reckon we'll give the rubber block a go. I haven't actually read the manual. I don't know if the rubber block is meant to go there. Actually, that it might not even be me, meant for that. I think it's too high. There we go. I, that'll be for something else, possibly. All right, so that's going to go there. I'm going to have to turn it back, though. Where is the VGA pass-through cable? I don't know. Not sure what you mean by that. Do you mean the power cable? If you mean the power cable, it is currently connected to the power supply. Or do you mean where do I pass it through um, to get to the power cable? Probably come through the bottom here, I reckon. Might be one way of going about it. Or you can come through the sides here. And come around so that might be a better way of going about it we'll work that out when we cross that bridge all right we'll just quickly i don't know if i'm showing that as well as i could be the turbo button is there somewhere it's on the front io i'll move my scissors out of the way It is a Lee and Lee case. It is the 011 or 011D Evo. So dynamic Evo. Uh, as I explained at the start of the stream, I haven't built in a Lee and Lee case for a very long time. So I was kind of excited to do this. Didn't read the manual, didn't research. I've been flat out. I thought, let's just go for it anyway, because that's kind of how we do the live streams. So far we have kind of, I don't know, it kind of looks like a computer, doesn't it? So we'll see how it progresses and if it even works okay so we can bring this I, I'm not even gonna be able to show you this but there's some really nice cable management grommets uh, on the side here it's kind of hard to explain maybe I'll maybe I'll show it once we've got a bit further I'm just gonna support the back of the motherboard with my hand there so we don't bend the crap out of it all right, so we got that. Now we need the two eight pins that go to the top of the motherboard, which realistically probably should install them before. Oh, they're right here on this board. Um, you can, uh, two screws and you can pop the radiator out. And that usually makes it easier to get to the eight pins. But on this board, they're actually going to be very easy because they are on the opposite side to where they are on pretty much every other board. So in this example, it's kind of a good thing. Okay, I reckon we can sneak the eight pins out up here. I reckon that will work. Seems like it worked. So I haven't looked at chat for ages. Which CPU did he pick? Uh, it is the Ryzen 9. 7950x so big thanks to amd for providing the 7950x and the 7900 xtx good sports thank you for provide, providing those amd um, msi provided the power supply which is the a sorry the ab or is it the a yeah, sorry it's the a850g <clears throat> my voice is going i explained at the start that i've had a cold um mpg pcie 5.0 power supply so it's a gold rated power supply i believe haven't actually used this particular model before, but we're giving it a go now. Um, I've used their higher end models, which were good. Uh, we've got the S360 liquid cooler. Where's the box for that? The core liquid. I'll put all the links and stuff in the video description after we're done. But yeah, the core liquid, we've used this a hundred times, maybe six times, maybe seven. It's gone well all seven times. Um, I currently have it in two of my test systems that I've been using for since it, since it first came out. I won't give a time frame. It's been almost a year now. Maybe it has been a year. Not sure. I haven't really got any accurate information for you. And of course, we've got the MSI Meg X670E Ace, which is an awesome motherboard. Very high end. 
and the Spatium M460 two terabyte NVMe SSD. And then I already spoke about that. So for those of you, oh, and the month, the the memory is from G Skill. G Skill provided this, so thank you to G Skill. Trident Z5 Neo RGB is the DDR5 6000 CL30 stuff. So this is the exact memory, 32 gigabyte kit, exact memory we use for all of our AM5 testing. So probably the best memory you can get right now. I'd say it is um, for AM5. Um, and yeah, I lost my voice the last few days, and it sort of only just came come back today. But it's a bit croaky, and um. I have to keep clearing my throat. But anyway, we'll, we'll get through this. We'll get through it together. All right. I'm just going to plug. I'll try and do it. Here. Uh, get one eight pin in. This is the worst thing about building on camera is it's so awkward. I'm trying to show you guys while also seeing. All right. So they're pretty, pretty neat and tucked away, the two eight pins. <clears throat> um, sorry guys, I'll never buy an MSI cooler again. Greg S has a vid. Uh, things took a dump on me. Yeah, that sucks. Um, I know MSI probably didn't handle that as well as I should have in certain regions, but it's like, you know, I'll never buy a gigabyte power supply again. Um, I'll never buy an Asus graphics card again. You, all of these companies, they have a lot of products. They mess them up. Obviously, it's important, really. Not so much that they have bad products, but how they handle them. And again, MSI's handled that really well here in Australia, um, but can't speak for all regions. But yeah, I mean, the, the S-Series hasn't had a problem. They've been flawless. Uh, as I said, I've had multiple coolers, but uh, not defending MSI at all. But if you sort of take that mentality... You know, you'd never buy a Radeon graphics card because the 5700 XT series had problems. And some of you guys have that stance. You're not going to buy a Radeon graphics card again because you got burnt, which is fair enough. I'm not telling you you're in the wrong. I'm just saying almost every, almost every, there are a few exceptions, but not many. Almost every company has dud products uh, and very few of them go about handling it the right way. But anyway, that's just the situation there. We'll do our best to hammer them whenever it happens. That's really all we can do. Uh, I'm just going to plug the... Uh, this one's going to be difficult to get through. It's only a little three pin CPU connector. It's gone through. I just don't know where. Oh, here it is. Got it. Steve, did you find the XTX runs hot in a closed case? No. No, no, well, all my testing was done in a closed case, but admittedly a case with quite good ventilation uh, in a 21 degree room. Uh, but no, not excessively. A th hot spot was around just under 80 degrees, 80 degrees thereabouts, which isn't nothing to be worried about. But I'm sure we'll get more information with, you know, people doing more testing and different configurations and that. I wouldn't recommend buying the reference card anyway. Um, we never recommend the reference cards ever basically. So yeah, be looking at, um, why are you building this PC, Steve? Um, just cause I can, I thought it'd be nice. To, it's kind of good to do a live stream every now and then we haven't done one for a while. So I thought I would do one and yeah, it may, it may be featured on the channel. It might be used for GPU testing. We'll see. There's a few things that we have to, uh, have to see how they play out over the next little bit. But uh, yeah, it's a good video because Balin doesn't have to edit it. So, you know, coming up to Christmas time and stuff, we want to reduce our workload as much as possible because we've we've had a crazy couple of months. It's not like we've been sitting around doing nothing and we've been run ragged. Um, so yeah, doing a video like this is kind of nice. And I like engaging with you guys directly, reading your chat and all that sort of stuff. And yeah, it's good. It's a shame we can't, ha can't get Tim here, but you know, he's been busy as well and we couldn't really... Tim will be coming out for the Q&A series early next week, I think. Yeah, early next week. It might even be Monday. I'm going to look into that. But yeah, so he'll be out here again shortly. So I didn't really want to get him out for this as well. All right, well, most of the, the power stuff is done. I'm not going to go crazy on the cable management for this. I'll do that 
later because oh yeah thanks i can probably turn that off just about all bringing it around the back here yeah because I, I couldn't actually see much uh -huh. and i forgot it was there to be honest uh, all right i'm just gonna shove those in there like that which is not pretty but i can sort all that out later all right we've got a Got a couple of USB cables to sort out. One, they will go there, so that should be pretty easy to get to. Despite this being, I mean, some people have called it a big case, but I think it's quite compact, really, in overall dimensions. It's a lot smaller than a lot of the cases we've built with, but it's really well thought out. A lot of nice cable management, easy to access, and the MSI motherboard also makes that easy. What are you laughing at, Balin? A couple of chats are good. Did you forget your name? Just look at the sleeve on your shirt. Oh, my name? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Sometimes I do. Um, have you considered doing a small form factor build? Uh, yeah, could do. On honestly, if, you, if you're into your small form factor builds, I'm not saying we can't do them or shouldn't do them, but Ali from Optimum Tech is the man on that sort of stuff. So if you're interested in your small form factor builds, I'm sure you, if you are interested in them, surely you already know about Optimum Tech. If you don't, well, I've just introduced you to a channel you're going to thoroughly enjoy. So make sure you check out Ali at Optimum Tech because uh, he is the, the mini ITX god. Knows his way around them. All right, I have an ARGB cable. And it can, it goes, it's gonna go all the way up there. Are you excited for the 3 dB cache? <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, yes I am. <laughs> I mean, I'm excited for it. Well, you know, the 13900KS, it's like, it's not that I'm not excited for that, but it's, it's an overclocked 13900K. So basically I'm waiting, I'm waiting till January, possibly February, to update all of our uh, GPU data to a modern platform, whether that be, you know, LGA 1700 with a 13th gen CPU or whether it's AM5 using a Zen 4 CPU. And obviously we'll wait till January to make that decision, but it's obviously going to be, if they release a 3D Vcash CPU by then, it'll be that or the 13900KS. But I'm not going to invest three weeks of my life doing nothing but benchmarking only to update it a month later. So we're just going to we're just going to hang out with the 5800X 3D, which is perfectly fine at 4K. And we'll update all of that stuff early next year with lots of big head-to-heads and stuff, and it should be good. One of the worst things you can do in life, apart from a connector four-pin Molex power cable, is do ARGB stuff. But it actually went in, so... Hooray for me. Wow, the front panel connector is a single connector in this case, not all those individual. Wow. So if this motherboard uses the standard layout, which you'd very much hope it does, this should be very satisfying. So that should pop in right there. I believe that's the front. Ooh, that is good. That should be a standard with modern cases, honestly. It's a bit of a shame that it's not. I'm definitely not showing the cable management, by the way, so don't even ask, guys. Don't even ask. Oh, come on. What are you hitting? Oh, there we go. Got it. Uh, and that will go right there. Gonna pop that around there. God, if you really don't like doing cable management, this is kind of the case for you because it hides all your sins very nicely in a back compartment. All right, so perfect cable management on the rear side here. It looks a bit special actually, it's that well done. Just, you're going to have to take my word for it, though. Okay, we have to put some fans in there, but we'll do that probably later. Off stream. All I can hear is Balin chuckling in the background. So you guys are entertaining him really well. Yeah. <laughs> is that the LTT screwdriver? It is. 
Very good screwdriver. I do like it. Not shilling for LTT. It's genuinely good. Whether it's good value for you is hard to say. I hate RGB software so much. I think you, uh, you're on the same uh, wavelength as everyone else there, James. Nobody likes it. Well, I think Balin likes it. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You've... It's a joke. <laughs> Good joke. <job. laughs> Good joke. But also, you've probably offended a great many. <laughs> it's definitely special. Yeah, it's special cable management. Spesh. The 5800X3D is awesome, and it is very good for gaming. You are correct. All right. I think we're up to graphics card time. I don't even know anymore. How long have we been going for? Hour 15. All right. How's your data looking? Good. Have you swapped over already? No. Okay. No, no. That's no, still good. It's 85, I will just be safe. Um, will the Ryzen 5 5600 pair with a 6800 XT or okay? Will the Ryzen 5600... Oh, mate, it's a couple match made in heaven type deal. Perfect. Good value combo, that. That's right, that's right. Probably, probably one of the better value combos getting around at the moment, I would have thought, for gamers. Look at that. Very nice. I know people will be complaining about the hoses sort of being in the way, and I get you. Don't worry, I get you. That might be something we optimise later. Oh, hang on. All right, Balon, play the sound effect as I open this. <laughs> come, come closer to the mic. Oh, God, that was funny. People probably didn't hear that nearly well enough. They probably didn't hear it at all, to be honest. <laughs> all right, so we want... The second down one, I think it is. What's that? Oh, it's alright. I was um, trying to get the card in frame. Alright, so we need that. Alright, I'm gonna. So, reference card, that's what we're going with for now. MSI's card was a bit late to the party. We could put other models in, but we'll go with this for now. It does look, I reckon it matches this build very well. The Batmobile of graphics cards, I call it. Oh, they heard me. Oh, no. They heard you? <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, they're mocking you now. That's what uh, good. Um, I've, I've dropped thumb screws. Oh, they're right in the middle of the case. Oh, she's getting a bit heavy now. All right. You know what? This is when we need the Linus magnetic. The magnetic tip on that one is, it's lost its mojo. All right, here we go. Securing the graphics card. Hopefully you guys can see that okay. okay. I'll just sit that there for the moment. Now, I did have some cable extensions, which I might put on these because these are, they're a little bit rubbery and they've got the, uh, I'll definitely be upgrading these to cable extension cables. I think I'll see if I've got some. Where did I put those? I had some sitting somewhere just around here. Uh, I don't know. I might have to uh, do that later. I did buy some. I do have them somewhere. I promise. All right, we'll just go. We'll, yeah, I've got some nice sleeved cable extensions for the uh, graphics card. If I remember where they are, I'll grab them. But for now, just pretend that this looks nice. 
I need you guys to work with me. Pretend we've got some nice sleeved cables with some combs and not these bits. If these bits weren't hanging off them, it really annoys me the way they don't sell the power supplies with like two extra cables that don't have the, uh, the extensions on the sort of the piggyback cables because <sighs> they're really hard to make look good. They're basically impossible. Anyway, I do have extensions. I will replace them later. I promise I will replace them later. But yeah, this stream was very rushed. But so far it's worked well. I might try and cable tie them there just so they... Maybe just take the cover off the AIO just because the reflection is chat. Oh, is it bad, is it? Yeah, unless you can like, keep the PC rotated. All right. No, that's all right. We can leave it off. Cool. Where do you reckon... Oh, I'll just grab some. I'm going again. I'm leaving. I'm done. I'm over it. <laughs> I'm out of here. See ya! No, I decided I'll come back. I'll come back and finish it. We're so close to being done. I might as well finish it. I wanted to go do some benchmarking, but that's fine. I'll, um... We'll finish it. Uh, I'm just going to cable tie them all together, I think. I don't know. I'm trying to make these look a little better. It's tough. Because they're a bit... Maybe if I... Something like that. It's really sort of the best I can do with them for now. Until I find those extensions that I bought specifically for this build I got an extension for your one it looks good I think yeah anyway I did it for the ones up there as well all right well we'll go with that for now I don't love it um that is pretty much everything except for intake fans which I don't actually I don't actually have. We do have a box of light wings here. Maybe we could stick them in because I think people are going to get triggered if I don't have fans. Yeah. But, all right, I'll, I might have, let me just check. I'm going again, I'll leave it, done. Sort of talking to myself over here, aren't I? <laughs> How much would you estimate the cost of this system is? I actually have no idea. We'll have to tally that up afterwards and work it out. Yep. Uh, okay, well, <clears throat> I thought I had a lot more fans, and I probably do. I don't know where I've put them. So we've got... Do a poll. Do a poll? Yep, we've got three... Can you do it from there? Yep. Okay, we've got, we've got light wings... 120 millimeter times three, or we've got silent wings four. No, oh yeah, yeah, okay, sorry, yeah. Or 140 millimeter times two, and then just put copy that line there into. Your... Yep, and then copy the second one into the second bar, <coughs> and we'll see what they what they want to see in there, and I'll um. I'll open them up. Good work, Balin.
So you guys can vote on what you want to see. So I think we can get a pair of these in there. So a pair of those. Uh, but they would be, they would technically go that way, wouldn't they? Because we'd probably want to blow air into the case. So a pair of those, or, um, or the three 120 millimeters. They will be, well, we could, we could blow the air out this way and pump it in through the rear. It's kind of like reverse. That'd probably work. I'm not sure how people usually configure this case. Just that much of each other. <laughs> <laughs> um, for some reason, I can't actually see the poll results on uh, my... 56 to 44 oh. in favour of the 140 mil. The 140, ooh, okay. Well, what if I put the what if I put the 120s in the front here and a 140 at the rear? Does it take... It doesn't take a 140 at the rear, so forget I said nothing. <laughs> I do have 120 of these, though. So I could... Hmm... Hmm. It's a tough one. It is a tough one. How's it looking? Is it still fairly even? 45-55. Okay. So people are wanting the non-RGB. That's right. The stealth. They're wanting a stealth approach, are they? Yeah. Okay, well we can give the people the stealth approach if that's what they prefer. I suppose I have to go with the winner. Wow, the, um, these fans are really impressive as well. So we want this one blowing air in. We're sort of doing it backwards. I don't know how that's going to affect things. Will that fit? Right. I'm going to have to turn this sideways. I can't see what I'm doing. We may struggle to fit that in there with how close. Right, I've got a... Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. That does actually make sense. I was about to say that may fall. Anyway, that didn't, that worked out okay in the end. Um, not ideal. I was about to say, Chris, can you come and hold this? Doesn't matter now, it's all right. That's not, that's how you don't do it, if you wanted to know. If you're wondering, if you're like, how do we not go about doing that? It was almost. Then I lift it up and it's leaking. Like, ah, oh, well. Yeah, so we want that to go further that way. Is it still uh, winning, Balin? We'll blame that on Chris, actually. He should have been here. Oh, okay, it fell down because it wasn't clipped in quite properly. Well, we just learnt something else. That won't happen again now. All right, now this should Fingers crossed, everybody. Yes, it fits now. Okay, but All right, we're going to put a 120 there. Did I actually get any fan screws out of that? Put some here. I wonder what Tim is doing right now. Do you reckon he's testing monitors or do you reckon he's just sitting back? I was actually surprised you haven't seen Tim in chat talking crap. Because that is his favourite thing to do when I'm working and he's not. But yeah, I, I haven't seen him. I was, I was sort of half expecting to. All right, so we're gonna suck the. F so we, 
I think the suggestion was we're going to put the intake fans in the bottom, aren't we? Yeah. I think we might use the... Do we use the 140 for that or the one... Yeah. I've only got two, that's the problem. Mm. I've only got two, and I don't think it... Yeah. Oh, it does support them. So what do you think we put that... Are people going to get upset if we use the RGB ones? I mean, the pole seems pretty even, right? Uh, it is Ooh. Well, all right, I can dig deep in my, in my box of fans and see if we can find some more. So... So we want those to be the intake blowing up at the graphics card. So they would go around. These are actually two different fans as well, I just realized. One's, one's the pro model and one's not the pro model. Yep. Alright, give me one moment. I know I have boxes of fans somewhere, I just don't know where I put them. Alright, uh, I've got an idea, I've got a plan, we're going to put, these are the same ones on the AIO, these are the MSI fans, we're going to stick them down the back there, and then I've got some Be Quiet 140s here, so, people are complimenting your physique right now Steve, think you lost a bit of weight, oh really? I don't, I don't think I have. Maybe it's the black shirt. Um, all right. I'm going as fast as I can, you guys. Come on, get in there. All right. We've got a couple of 140s. This AIO still works perfectly fine, so we'll put that somewhere safe, like on the ground. Okay, so I think the plan is, these are all the same. I think we can get, no, it's only the, we can only do two, so that's fine. So we can do two under the graphics card. I think that's probably the way to go. And then, these as exhaust as well, or do we want to intake them? Probably exhaust. I mean, it's very quick and easy to change them. It's getting heavy. All right. Chris, do you want to remove all of those fans for me, please? And the boxes? Thank you very much. Ooh, I don't know if I could choose, to be honest. They're both very good. I mean, they're different. They're, yeah, they're just different cases, right? They've got, I don't, I don't know which one I prefer. I don't know. They're both very good. It's not that I don't want to pick. It's just, they're very different. It's kind of like, you know, picking between two different form factors. All three. No. no, just two. And then the three light wings in the front. 
I'm going to put the light wings all the way up here, which I think will look better and work basically the same. Look, they're fans. It, it's, you don't have to get too emotionally attached to where they're located. I know some people will, but we can move them. We have the power. It's eight volts, but we have power. So I'm just gonna, I'm tacking them into place with like two screws each to, to see if we're happy with them. But yeah, at the end of the day, we can run some benchmarks, do some thermal testing, and then we can be, uh, we can change them. We'll be like, no, we don't like that. Requires a bit of optimization. I think it'll work out. Yeah. What I'm, what I've, uh, I'm lacking is the, uh, the screws for the fans. So I'm just going to have to dig a couple out of my bucket of screws as we go. Yeah, as I said, we didn't really plan this build probably as well as we could have or should have. Having said that, I, I've been run off my feet with uh, reviews and testing and whatnot over the last little bit, but we did want to do this live stream, but I probably should have uh, worked out fans and stuff like that. But this... This looks like it's working. Interactive 3D Yeah, exactly. Everything, having it all well planned out and well executed, that's boring. No one wants to see that. The struggles are real. All right. What are you guys laughing at the whole time? You're definitely enjoying it too much, Balin. <laughs> All right. I've got to work out all these bloody... I don't have a fan controller, so I'm going to have to work out where I plug all these fans in. I probably have a fan controller laying somewhere, but this is getting ridiculous. Damn it, that's just an RGB hub. My worst fears have been realized. What exactly is that? Oh yeah, it's just a rogue thumb screw. They, they, they crop up from time to time. Don't worry about it. Is anyone laughing at my voice? Because if they are, ban them. <laughs> Like straight away. Oh, they're saying to do intake fans. These as intake instead of exhaust. Well, nah, stuff them. Tell them, tell them, stuff them. We can flip them around. All right, we can flip them around. But they look so good that way. I know it's a lot of exhaust fans. It's probably too many. I should have done, I should have triggered them and made only intake fans. Just for the whole thing. Oh, could you imagine? Actually, I've got to take this out, so I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, yeah. Nah, that's, that's fair. Yeah, I actually do want to go do it intake only. And just be serious about it. Exhaust only? We make a vacuum. All right, so we're gonna put these, I reckon just back slightly. All right. We're installing way more fans than I ever anticipated. People are really worried about it. How about the fans? Yeah. They should be. They should be very concerned. Uh, um, 
fans bail on a like thermal paste. They can never be done correctly. You'll learn this. It's just part of the job. People always act like you can never reapply thermal paste and you can never rotate a fan. Like it's not the world's easiest thing to do. They all act like it's something that's just... It can, cannot be undone. What has just been done here? I... I don't like it at all and it can never be resolved. It's ruined my day and probably my week. That's alright. Alright, I'm happy with where these are at I think. So we're gonna... We're gonna lock them in. Okay. Um, oh, we'll just go with that for now. I won't go too crazy with the, the screws. We'll see if that if that's done what we want. What is that? What's this cord on? Oh. Okay, that's pretty tight on the connectors on the bottom of the motherboard. And I don't know if we're going to get it under them. So 120 might, 140 might not even fit. We're, we're hitting all of this stuff. Whatever the guys are saying in chat, you're making Balin's day. Because honestly, I've never heard so much giggling. You should be putting the thermal paste on the fans for better cooling. That does help, actually. I've heard that. Okay, well, 140s aren't clearing the bottom of the motherboard. So I'm glad I didn't put all the screws in. Uh, I feel like we can't do the RGB fans though, right? Alright, uh, Chris, come and talk to the camera. No, I'm kidding. Uh, just stare at nothing for a minute, guys. Bail and talk to them. Oh, yeah. Alright. placeholder fans they're just random old fans I've got we're just gonna put them in for now we'll replace them okay them I know but in spite of that we will <laughs> these are just placeholder fans all right that's awesome <laughs> Michael said the most triggering setup would be alternating in and out as you go around the case <laughs> <laughs> oh I'm pretty tempted I'm pretty tempted um, okay, so this goes in uh, that away. <laughs> I do like that idea. They want, Chris. They want Chris on. They want what? They want Chris on. <laughs> okay, so let's just reset. Okay, so that goes like that. We want these to be intakes, don't we? So we want them like so. Alright, we're back on track, I think. I do like the alternating fan idea. Actually, these want to go that way. I think. Yeah, they do. Alright, placeholder fans, guys, because I don't... I've got other fans somewhere, which we'll dig out tonight. But... Alright, we're going to have to go max power on this one. Um, it's a toy. Okay, one placeholder fan. Have I done these the right way? Yeah, I have. Yep, cool. Between chat and Balin giggling the whole time, this is very distracting. Need one more screw and that'll be good enough for now. That'll be good enough for uh, placeholder fans. I might do two more. It's not up to date. Like, yeah. It, it, it's like, it takes about 30 seconds to get. All 
All right, we are getting there. The placeholder fans are nearly in, the ones that are definitely not staying there forever. That people will act like they are. Because people will, well, because I don't have any intake fans, and I, I can't, like, as much as I want to see the reaction, we can't do it. Because there'll be people watching this stream back for months to come, and they'll be like, oh my god, you noob, don't you know you need intake fans? And I'll be like, actually, no, I didn't know. Where were you when I was live? Ah. Here we go. Now I have the problem of having six fans and nowhere to connect them so maybe just end stream <laughs> now, how many fan headers do we have up there well we do have two up there i definitely need to get more fans for this case and a fan controller Come on, you bugger. Feed through. I'm really looking forward to playing some games tonight now. I don't know if I'll be resing Balin much, though. I'll be doing that for you. <laughs> you can't. You can, say, you can say a few things on stream, but you can't lie. <laughs> you can't flat out lie to the people. It's not very nice. Thank God this ace motherboard has a million fan headers are we selling merch t-shirts um chris is our merch guy but we're not at this point in time only to members we've done a few member test runs oh, i'm gonna have to go this way sorry and you too can have your name on the sleeve so everyone knows that you don't remember your name <laughs> Yeah, well, it is a game. But yeah, yeah, my ones, my other ones have my game, the, yeah. the, my spreadsheet Steve meme tag. Um, oh, there's two fan headers right down the bottom in the middle. All right, I'm gonna have to come around this way, and then I'm putting this thing back together, and then we're turning it on, and then we're seeing if it works because I'm done. Where's my little light? Thanks, Balin. I need a voice changer so I can go back to my normal voice. Okay. Someone before said you sound like Fergie and Jesus. <laughs> <Come> <laughs> Did you open it? Yeah. I'm not going to drink on stream. I'll be burping the whole time. <laughs> All right. I'm putting the case doors on. Yeah, I'm going to put the case doors on and then we'll see if it works. I don't actually remember what order we took all of this stuff off. Like, does that go on? Can that go on first or not? Actually, the side door goes on. I'm fully confident this is going to work. Power up. Boom. 200 FPS. Let's go. We'll be gaming. Uh, that goes that way, right? Once you put things up the right way, they go straight in. Sometimes. Ooh, so snug. I was going to say, do you want me to like smash them together? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Is he talking like a 50 game benchmark? I mean, we kind of know how they compare, but 
Oh, there are some games where it's a bit unusual and the, the gap isn't as big as you'd expect. I mean, look, it's probably something we're going to do at some point, let's be honest. I won't hug this all to myself. Are you guys ready? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, yeah. So satisfying. And the stream is peaked. There's a... Who has a better gaming PC, Steve? You or Tim? Uh, I've got like... Me, because I've got like three. I don't think he has a... He has a do they really combine like that? No, nah, they do. Well, more, yeah, no, nah, me for sure. Me for sure. I'm also a better gamer than Tim. He's not here to defend himself, so this is great. <laughs> now put it right next to the mic for me. Guys will love that. Oops, I left that on max. Luckily I didn't hold down the trigger. All right, so that, oh, I forgot to put the arrow cover on because you took me, told me to take it off. Ooh, lucky I realized. I definitely gave that a bit too much talk. Okay, let's just... Picked up what? Yeah, oh, they're, they're 30 seconds behind. There'll be a, a flurry of comments coming in any moment now. There is no way people didn't notice. Are we sure it's Balin? Trust yeah. me. Trust me, it's Balin. He wants you to come on screen, does he? No, no, no. Get, get you in front of the camera. No, no, no. Keep him guessing. Yeah, stuff sponks. All right. That's what I'm done. How does it look? Uh, hang on, sorry. Is that, is the, is the chat reflecting? Yeah, is, yeah. There? Keep turning on. Keep going. Yep. Stop. Ah, oh, cameras and lights and reflections and whatnot. Alright. Now, if I have to go fetch a monitor, actually I'll just use the chat monitor. find a mouse as well. I'll get one pretty quickly. Shouldn't be a problem. Well, that's good. That's good. Cheers. Oh, we got the Harbour Unboxed mouse. All right, I'm just gonna slide all this stuff out of the way. And we'll see if this thing actually turns on. Uh, all right, the mod mat's not straight. That'll be triggering someone's OCD. Omega reminds you that you forgot a floppy drive. <sighs> all right, get me this. Start again. Uh, okay, we'll leave the computer there. I'm just gonna move this open bottle I didn't know was there. Okay, I'm gonna unplug. Apparently the power cord is still in the box. What? Yeah, the power cord. Power. No, no, the power, the three pin power for the power no. supply. That's good. <sighs> Bloody nappa. Multiple people have mentioned it. Oh, well I'm not using it because it's not long enough. Yeah. 
I'm one step step ahead of those guys. Having said that, where is the power? Is it over? Oh, okay, that's plugged in there. Um, but I've, we do need to go get a power cord because we need one that's like three times longer. It's over here, but you used it for the lights. Apologies. That's all right. See, for all you smarties in the comments, we needed a big long one. Because it's got to go from the computer to the power board. So I've got a, I think this is a five meter one. It's at least three. Oh, ah, didn't put the screw in there. Okay. So the monitor's connected. Is that actually in frame? It is now. Yep. Can you just angle it down a little bit? A bit more, possibly. Uh, no. That's right. That's I can snap good. it. Yeah, no. <laughs> that's pretty good. All right. We just need one of those keyboard devices. Oh, yeah. Uh, does that have, no, that have a double plate. That's the test system one. Right, this one will work. <clears throat> All right. I don't know why I'm acting so confident this will turn on. Yeah, Scott said, could you put the side panel on at home first? Mm, that's true. That is true. It's the rules of the street. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to move the computer across a little bit. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's fairly heavy, but it's not stupid. We're happy? Yep. Bet you the power supply's not flicked over. I don't actually know which one's the power button. Oh, that's that's the side. Is there any smoke yet? Now the screen was using display. Oh, it's going to take a while to post. All right, it's all looking pretty promising so far. These do take a while first time. So don't panic just yet. It's all looking pretty normal. Nope. Yeah, Good. it's looking positive. It's looking positive. Shall we update the BIOS to the latest version? I'm pretty impressed that the 24 pin ATX power connector is not rubbing on that fan. Thought that was going to happen for sure. All right, it looks pretty cool. I think it's on the inside of the case. It didn't tear off. That would have been a bit dreary. Should I update the BIOS? All right, I'll go download it. Prime says you should. I should? Yeah. Is that what Prime said? Yeah. Yep. Got, got to do it. If Prime said it, I'm going to do it. So what have we got? 1.2. All right. Well. I'm just going to refocus the camera on the computer. Yep. Much better. <coughs> so I should be able to see. Here we go. It's off there
let's try these little USB ports down the bottom here. Uh, Steve Omega says, make the stream more exciting by bricking the motherboard. Okay, so we rip the power out halfway, then we just use the BIOS flashback feature. <laughs> MSI would not be happy with me. <laughs> I, think I've, I think I've annoyed enough companies this month. Actually, I don't know why I ticked that. Ah, uh, sure. It is my thing. And I've left that there. That's annoying more than just me right now. Oh, it's on the inside. It's on the inside. The glass oh. thing. Yeah, it, yeah, it ripped off around it. Oh. It's very, it's kind of like, yeah, I reckon with the RGB software set up, yeah. it's going to look pretty cool, pretty stealthy. I actually like graphics card. I wish I could show th a different angle, but like, is it still, um, is it still reflecting now? Well, it won't reflect the monitor. No. So, so that's, that's they can fun. probably see you now, Balin. Oh yeah, you can see my hand. Hello. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're a funny little guy. All right, so we've got a much newer BIOS that we can load up. Yes, we would like to. Ah. <clears throat> so, tell me, Chris. Make the RGB white. Make it white? Yep. That's not even RGB anymore. Uh. <laughs> yeah. So, what do you reckon? Do you like this? Yeah, it's an awesome build. Do you want it? Do I, do I want it? Do you reckon we should give this to Chris? <laughs> Come on, Chris, oh. get in here. Get in here. What do you do reckon? Should we it? give this to Chris? Your surprise build? Uh, <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> How oh excited are you on a one to ten? Uh, I'm up there, shaking a bit actually. That's well, awesome. it's your build, so well, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. That's awesome. Yeah. So oh, yeah, I, I, it was awkward for the stream because people were like, "What are you building this for?" And I'm like, "Well, we're it's building it for Chris." So Chris. Wanted a new build desperately. Yeah. He's been very, very jealous of Balin's build. And we've been umming and ahhing about building, but he, d he doesn't want to come on the, on the live not, show. Not doesn't the live doesn't show, want to be on the stream. Right now, his excitement level is through <laughs> the roof, but his mm -hmm. uncomfortable level yes. is through the next roof. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> through, through the so stratosphere. Yeah. Believe me, he's very excited right now, but he's yeah. unable to show it. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah. So, oh, that's awesome. Thank you, guys. I oh, readjust that. Wow. So that's your build. Unreal. Thank so, you. yep, you got a 7950X, 32 gigs of RAM, DDR5, 7900 XDX. Only two terabytes of storage. Thank you, AMB, as well. <laughs> MSI. Chris is like, I'd like to yeah. thank the following people. <laughs> Just thank chat. That's all yeah, that matters. It's all chat. Yeah. All because of you guys. Yep. So, yeah. So, <laughs> after. Secret Santa strikes again. Yep. Man, that, yeah. So, after this, about an hour or two, we'll start streaming. Chris will be gaming. Yep. And it will be on. Streaming PC. Now you, yeah, you, you can stream now as well. You've got your old PC. So what's your old PC? Tell, tell everyone. Uh, Ryzen 7, 2700X? No. So, no, you've upgraded since then? I can't yeah, remember. Yeah, 5600. 50, yeah. Oh, that's right. You upgraded to the 5600. Yep. There. Yep. Uh, and a 3060 Ti. Yep. Uh, 32 gigs of RAM, but all the speed, I think it's 3000. Yep, okay. Something like that. Nice. Yeah, this is a massive upgrade. Yeah, so Thank you had you. the 2700X for a long time. Yeah. And then you just recently upgraded this year to the 56, didn't you? Because it yep. was cheap. So that was a good yeah, upgrade. Really cheap. Yeah. And this is a much bigger upgrade. This is insane. Thank so, you. No worries. Thank you very and much. Thanks everyone for watching because uh, you guys make this sort of stuff possible. Yeah, definitely. And uh, Balin's loving his PC. Yeah. How are we going over here? Little beast. Not bad. I think it's. What is it doing? It says. Sitting zero. Has it been on zero the whole time? Mm. All right, we're bricking the board. Sorry, Chris. That's all right. That's all right. I'll tell you the rest of the stuff. That's great. Why is it on 0% still? Yeah, a couple of people asked. It always takes this long. No. Nah. Never. You did say you wanted to make MSI unhappy. Well, I think we're going to. Uh, I guess we'll just leave it for now. I don't know. Yeah. People will be annoyed, though, if I don't brick it and then fix it. I think we'll leave it a little bit longer. Because normally I'd, I'd, it, I'd normally just leave this for 10, 20 minutes. But realistically, it should be pretty much done by now. They're saying press enter to update. <laughs> I've done it. 
but that's definitely not a thing. <laughs> it should definitely be updating. Um, I like it hasn't locked up because we're getting updates Actually, on the fan speed. When I went to the 5600, it took a really long time. Like yeah. a scary long time. It'd be stupid to turn it off. Like yeah. if, if someone watching had this situation just happen, like, just walk away and leave it. Yeah. Half an hour. Just leave yeah. it. Uh, yeah. I'd, I'd, I'd leave it at least an hour, which is an hour. excessively long. Mm. Realistically, this is a five minute procedure. Uh, but yeah, leave it. And then if, if we reset this and it's dead and won't post, we'll have to try the BIOS flashback, which I've successfully done plenty of times. But the fact that this isn't working is uh, not good. Actually, I can't take it anyway, because you can't change the fans and then they're alternating. So right, I'll do a few more <laughs> modifications for you and then we'll mail it up Just for you. Well, I'm sure PC case gear will help mail that up. Legends. So, oh. <coughs> <coughs> now I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> You also, we'll just move this to the side for a minute. Chris has been very jealous for a while because I have a 4K 32 inch 144 hertz MSI monitor. Right. And you've wanted one, haven't you? I have. Do you yeah, still want one? Yes, please. Okay, so if I was to say that. Oh, God. I didn't we even have, see that. If we have that. Nice. So I've got to mail that up as well. So there's your new monitor. Oh, thank you guys. Thank you MSI. 4K 144Hz. Do you want to read the model number out loud for everyone? Oh. <laughs> MSI MPG Optics MPG 321URQD. Nice. Yep, cool. Obligation met there. Not, not as good as Tim. But, so yeah. there's your new monitor. Oh so we probably should have taken it out and put it up here, which the problem is we've got to mail it up though, so it's probably wise not to. Yep. So we won't. But thanks MSI. This isn't. This is a genuinely very good monitor. Yeah. Balin has two of them. I have three of them. <laughs> yeah. Humble brag. Um, <laughs> Balin just laughing. Uh, but no, they are genuinely very, very good. Love gaming on them. Love working on them. They're even good for uh, video editing and stuff. Very color accurate. Tim's tuned all of ours up for us. So yeah. There you go. It's, it's actually very heavy, so I'm gonna put it down. So you got a new monitor too. Thank you so much. So I don't want to hear any complaining when you get knocked and, and no after res you. Uh, I, I don't want to hear it was my monitor. I'm not sweaty Um so I think we're gonna break this and try again. Cool. So I'm gonna move the thumb drive for the updating because that's really it gen it shouldn't matter what port you have it in, but because it's being silly, I'll put it in the BIOS flashback and we're just going to reset it it should post it should post which i'll sneak past you you can you can go relax down Do some deep breaths yeah. and just sit down Stop out. i haven't looked at chat because i can't anymore but oh people are stoked for you oh that's good thank you guys actually changed <laughs> early christmas yeah. uh, this is next year's christmas as well <laughs> i think it's doing the Update? I don't know. Well, it's whatever. It'll work out. If not, I've got another one of these motherboards. <laughs> but no. Nah, we'll, we'll get it working. We'll get it working. Oh, exit. Okay, Let, we'll just try it again. Um... Because it had no problems reading. Sorry for the wobbling screen, by the way. I'm just leaning against this bench here, which you can probably see, actually. I don't know, my own shot. Yeah, your face is in shot. <laughs> Sorry, but apologies for my face being in shot. Oh, MSI are already calling you, Steve. Are they? According to SP. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised they are. My phone's on silent. <laughs> well, it's just locked up here now. Okay, well... Kevin suggested trying to use a FAT32 formatted. I think this is a FAT32 formatted. Yeah. But why is it locking up the BIOS? My voice can't take much more of this. Too much raw power. 
Yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah. 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 Steve confirmed to Kev that it was FAT32 already, but he's going to reformat it. Okay. Well, <coughs> I'll reset it. Yeah, include CMOS two, maybe. Um, yeah, you shouldn't need to, to be honest. But I mean, we can definitely try that. Do we? We should probably get this out and show it off. Do you want to set it up for me? And we'll repackage it later. Can someone tell me if 4K at all different uh, screen sizes gets the same FPS? Obviously that's down to your notes right. Uh, same FPS? So we're saying like 4K 24 inch, do you get the same performance as 4K 32 inch? Right. Yes, it's the exact same amount of pixels. Yep. Okay, well we're in flash mode this time. Let's see what it does this time. Alright, <laughs> uh, well we're on 0%. Let's see if we get anywhere this time. It's definitely the right BIOS. The board wouldn't even accept it if it wasn't. Uh, my next step is I can try a different USB. I'll get a different. I'll do that now. We'll leave that sitting for a few minutes. I'll get another USB. At least it's not. At least it's not bricking the board, so that's good. Yeah, you can just build that. You'll be right, mate. You'll be right. Uh, Kelly said it has to be FAT32, obviously, but MBR, not GPT. It's reading it just fine. Yeah. Just not. Like I've done this. Hundreds upon hundreds of times. Yeah. I've flashed every single MSI X570 uh, 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 670 board. Yeah. Uh, I flashed every single one for the VRM testing yep. and not a single problem.
Well, I guess we will try a different thumb dryer. Please hold. Yeah, I thought, I thought it might be that, but it honestly only takes a few minutes. Oh boy. I love computers. <laughs> I'm definitely losing my voice again. This board needs to play, but it needs to do it soon. Or I'm going to be gasping. Have you renamed the file? Uh, you only have to do that for BIOS flashback. Right. MSI.ROM. Yep. We're not there yet. We're not there yet. I mean, the system does technically work just fine. Yeah. You just, just, it's not the latest virus. <laughs> so we will just install Windows on it and send it to Chris and be like, it's fine. Just never update your virus. Screw <laughs> uh, it. Yeah, they'll be there around there. You can grab the. I, th I chucked him in the drawer. Yeah, like four door drawers down your left. But you can use that if you want. Yep. So now we've got to this new bug where after failing you click M flash and it locks up and then you have to manually reset. Just a thing. <laughs> Put it in the freezer for 12 hours. This is a riveting stream now. <laughs> this is really good. This is good stuff. This is only slightly more boring than live benchmarking. <laughs> Only slightly. A lot of people still call for that, don't they? Yeah, they love it. But maybe they're loving this as well. Bloody people on the internet, they're weird, am I right? <laughs> just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Shh. Alright. Uh, so this one I didn't flash properly. Uh, sorry, format properly. I just thought I'd see if it um, worked. One moment. The red sticker causing the issues according to chat. It actually could be. Yeah, it probably is. <laughs> All the fans. <laughs> I'm actually I'm actually concerned there's not enough RGB. I think that might be the problem. <laughs> Real good bias to me. All right, we'll try and refresh that and see if it finds it, but I'll probably need to reset the whole thing. All right, we'll try again. <clears throat> it is absolutely crazy that I've tested every X670 motherboard there is, and I've done all the MSI ones, and they all were flawless. Not a problem. I've even, f I've flashed this board it had a different BIOS in this one. It had the original initial release BIOS, but it flashed to this version of the BIOS just fine. Get this board? No. Nah. If we weren't doing this on a live stream, it would have just gone straight away. Probably. MSI motherboards like Chris. They're a bit shy. <laughs> It'll, I'll plug it in in a sec. All right, so if I click, watch, watch, I can go through all the menus Advanced menu, uh, actually, okay, the mouse was being weird. So the menus are all working. Actually, what, what happens if we click M flash here? Okay, 
Did it lock up or? Yeah, just locks up. It definitely didn't do that the first time, right? No. Um, I'll do a I'll do a CMOS reset in a minute. Now look, we've gone down the thermal paste theory uh, already. I, there wasn't much thermal paste, but I'm not sure that's it. And I, I think we're probably not onto that one. How many people are watching this? Uh, 480. Okay. That's depressing. Sorry, guys. There's a lot of suspense at this point, though. Can we flash a motherboard's BIOS? Now there's 900. <laughs> yeah. Okay, it's, for some reason it's no longer even finding this thumb drive. Hmm. I'll try a different port. Alright, I'll get a different USB drive. Holy moly. Uh. Alright, we'll try this one out. Small thumb drive. <laughs> oh my god! This this is giving the guys an insight to day one reviews. This is what reviewers spend about eighty percent of their time doing. Okay, I found that one. Come on, come on, you can do it. Let's see one percent. Show me one percent. Come on, you can do it. It's not looking good. <laughs> Should I try a different BIOS version? I think that's where it down. Hang on. Jeff pointed out you might have read the dates the other way around, like American, not. For the BIOS revisions? Mm. No, no, no. It's got 1.2 on it, and we're trying to go to 1.42. Yeah, yeah. Is there a later one? Like that's one the most previous. recent. Yeah, so there's one previous to that. There's we could try the one previous to that. Yeah. It should have done 1% now, I'm pretty certain. Uh, I'll just do... I'm doing my best to try and kill it now. Uh, all right, I'll get a different BIOS on the other thumb drive that I threw across the room somewhere. In a fit of rage. Try changing the side exhaust to intake. <laughs> version 1.3 and the only other version is the version that's already installed so this is just doing the whole memory training thing since I reset the BIOS completely it'll be interesting to see if it locks up when we go to M flash this time a couple of people have mentioned potentially pulling out peripherals and stuff yeah I mean that's when yeah yep yep that, that's they're all good suggestions for sure Okay, so when I click M flash, it's still locking up now and not resetting. So, that's annoying. Uh, 
Uh, we'll try this one more time, and then we will uh, go for the previous BIOS, which is on this thumb drive that's AMD branded. It's not made by AMD. Oh, hang on. Yeah, that's right. Why is there two there? Did I leave two thumb drives connected? Or is it just that it's got two, it's got a partition or something? That doesn't look like it's working. I'm going to bring this big unit in. Now I need another long power cable. Graphics. Yeah, just for the yeah, well, we're gonna. It seems like we're committed now, so this could be a six hour stream, but we'll find the problem. You enjoying your holiday, Chris? I'm loving it. Are you enjoying your day off? I'm loving my day off, actually. <laughs> if Tim was here, this is the point where I give up and get Tim involved. I'm like, Tim, take over. I'm having a nap. I can't reach the back of this monitor. I don't know if this will detect and um, show where we were at, but I don't really care because I think we're... I take it was on 0% when I disconnected that. Chat would be going wild if it wasn't. Oh, look at that, still on zero percent. Exciting stuff. Wow, this monitor seems lighter than the other one, despite it being sort of chunkier. More impressive. Okay, well, we're going to give the other BIOS a, a go, and then we're going to start pulling the whole computer apart and going bit by bit. Why does this not peel off properly? <laughs> Can't something go right for us? God, they really... They really stick that on there. This might be a job for you, Chris. And I think I got it. I got part of it. Use BIOS flashback. Yep. All right. We can definitely try that. All right, I'll put the BIOS on this. No, this one has the BIOS already. I've got to rename it. Right, I'll go do that. We'll try BIOS flashback. How bad? Was he really begging? Yeah, quite a few people have as well. Okay. All right, well, I'll let this do its thing. Uh, we'll do BIOS flashback next. The RGB works that film. Chris, is this going to be right? Yep. It's a little bit worried. I'm going to mute it now. Um. Let this fail one more time, and then we'll try BIOS flashback. 
Next step is to get MSI tech support on the phone live. <laughs> okay, so this is the the 1.3 version. <sighs> we'll give it a few minutes. Alex is a big fan. He said if ScoMo was a CPU, what CPU would he be? <laughs> <laughs> Super chat. Oh, uh, it's a super chat. Yeah. Um, it'd probably be like an AMD FX, a bulldozer. <laughs> it'd be a bulldozer or a pile driver. I don't know, I've got nothing for you on that one. <clears throat> Does anyone know how long it typically, typically takes to get like a 1%? From memory, like it's just sort of a fairly instantaneous thing. Like you click go and it's like zero one starts going. Has anyone done it recently remember? I'm, am, am I remembering correctly? Is it, is it pretty much you're off and away? Can people actually hear me when I sit here? Oh, most definitely. Okay. Because like, do we give up on this? I'm pretty certain we would have seen something by now. I don't think it sits there for that long doing nothing. But I usually just click OK and walk away. Three minute job for the whole thing is normal. Yeah, that's, that's been my... Six to nine minutes. They're the slower ones. Yeah. But I think we should have got a percentage by now, right? I'll give it a second. The first few percent would be loading files, right? Well, yeah, it just, it just sort of does. Less than 20 seconds. seconds people are saying yeah yeah I, I agree with that I agree with that it's definitely less than 20 seconds MSI says um, M flash crashes or freezes using the HDMI port but you're using display port right using display port yep uh, I'm certain that's the bias flashback oh sorry they said if it does crash you try using the HDMI port. Okay, let's try that first then. Uh, we'll, we'll follow MSI's advice. Yeah. I don't... I don't it has, yeah. We'll, we'll give that a quick go. Because I'm, I'm actually tempted to change... The, I don't really want to use BIOS flashback. I want to find out what's causing it because it could be useful for people. And as I said, I've flashed this particular board and had no issues. And I did, re I used a Radeon GPU. I used an RX 6400, worked fine. Just to be clear, that wasn't actually MSI in the chat. Oh, wasn't it? No. No, it was, it was some other guy saying that. Oh, MSI, MSI says that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I, I, I want to give it a go. <laughs> You're not in that much trouble yet. <laughs> I want to give it a go anyway. Honestly, MSI should be in the chat. <laughs> if they know something, it'll probably do it. They should probably be telling us. We'll give this one go. I'll just use the version that's in currently in there. I'm just gonna try a different USB. Oh, guys, it says, try taking one RAM, stick it out, GPU out. Yeah, all they're all good suggestions. That's definitely stuff you should do eventually. I want to avoid. I want to exhaust pretty much all avenues before we start doing that, just to see if we can work out. Because yep. if we rip everything out and then flash it and it works, it's like, what was it? Was it the Radeon? Graphics card, was it this? So I, I want to try and, yeah. If we're going to bother doing this, we might as well go through it sort of methodically and try and work out what the hell is causing this compatibility issue. But I might have to crack open a drink in a minute. <clears throat> we could just start playing games and deal with this in between games. I'm quite happy just to stare at a block. That said, Chris probably wants to game on this, so. Definitely want to see what it does. We'll get there. That's 300 FPS on Fortnite. Good indeed, should look nice. I think so. Just show that you want What's your current one? I've got a low end 40, 40 gig monitor. Yeah, so this is a 140 Hercules. 
I put a fingerprint on your monitor, I'm sorry about that. It should auto detect. Okay. Interestingly, it's loaded the memory speed. I must have clicked. I'm not really sure how we did that. Okay, so we've still got the old BIOS on. Let's try this. Just gonna give it a few seconds and see if it resets. I'd really like it to be able to reset on its own accord and not just lock up in BIOS. That's um, not giving me much confidence. I still think the problem is present. Hmm. So what was I going to do next? Was I going to take the Radeon GPU out and try off the iGPU? Yeah, I think most people are suggesting GPU next. That's... That would be my... I'm most suspicious of the Radeon GPU. Are you still trying 1.3, yeah? It doesn't really matter at this point, but yes, I believe so. Yeah. If we do 1.3, we can then... We get, we get to do it all over again. Mm. So that'll be fun. Alright. Uh... Okay, from Troy. this is detecting no BIOS now. Hang on, what did I do? I might change... I did change the port it was in. Let's just plug this one in here. Sorry, what was the question? Uh, Troy asked, have you called Paul's Hardware? Have I called Paul's Hardware? <laughs> I don't know if Paul's Hardware would appreciate me calling him right now. And Jared Steck said, uh, download more RAM, maybe. <laughs> well, Jared always coming in with the save. Okay, well, so far it's on zero. So all we've changed here is the HDMI cable. Uh, so that doesn't look like it's helped us at all. But we gave it a go. Super chat. Um, I had a similar issue with my CHVII Extreme. Um, specifically a PNY fat, fat flash drive, FAT32 by the way. Right. Yeah, well I've used, I've used these flash drives dozens of, like, yeah, it's yeah. definitely not the flash drive. <coughs> but just to be clear, we've tried the two different types of flash drives. But I have flashed this model motherboard using these flash drives without a problem. Right, well, I don't think that's doing anything. So now, I'm going to take it apart. I'm going to change the graphics card. You can't use, there's no display outputs on this motherboard. So we can't use our GPU. Ask Jared if he wants to come over and help take over for me. I need a break. <laughs> I was like, oh, this will be pretty quick and easy for my voice. We'll be over. We'll be uh, done in no time. Two hours 40. It's actually not that long we've been going for. <sighs> it seems like people are appreciating this as, you know, real life. PC building. Oh, that's good. Sure. To be fair, this is pretty much how it can go. I actually haven't checked it in this case. You haven't had a look? Hello. Here's here's bunks. It's nice. Oh, it's... it's you like sleek. the brushed aluminium? It's sleek. Yeah. Uh, there'll be a retention clip in my way there that I can't reach. Yeah, it's nice. Cool. Gotta take that slide off too, Bailey. Already done it. <laughs> Already done it. Good stuff. <laughs> We've got one. All right, that's a little bit of a beast of a graphics card there. 
I'll flip that back over. Mark says negative airflow equals negative boot up. <laughs> We've got a full positive. It's actually pretty negative now. Ah, let's have another go at this and see if this does anything different for us. That's the memory I've used for all the boards that I flashed as well. What are you laughing at now, Chris? Oh, just uh, ZNF5, ZNF511 said, poor guy getting it, gives it a broken PC. Yeah. <laughs> Rip, Chris. We'll do a live stream tomorrow and we'll do you a new build. <laughs> to be fair, the PC is not broken. It does work. Yeah. <laughs> just with a very specific shipped with BIOS. Yeah. It's not upgradable, so. Yes, we've cleared CMOS. Mate, we've cleared that thing good and proper. I need a word as original. Not a sponsor of the stream, by the way. Then, yeah. No, 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 I'm just joking. Just joking. Just too, joking. Too many good comments to read. Crane Fodder said, kids watching, if your PC is working just fine, do not update the BIOS. <laughs> okay, so the BIOS, ooh, ooh, okay, that's the first time it's reset, so I think it's the Radeon GPU, I think it's the Radeon GPU. I'm pretty confident it's the Radeon GPU just based on that alone. I wonder if we put a partner card in, if, if, if it has the problem. We could roll back and try. I'm very confident it's the GPU just based on that alone. Although the side panel's off. So oh yeah, someone did suggest the could side panel. Up. Could have been the stick, geez, there's three variables yeah. now. I'm pinning on the radio on GPU. Not enough airflow. <laughs> stressing it out by updating the BIOS. Man, it's stressing me out. Why did it not go into the M flash? All right, maybe it wasn't the radio on GPU. I clicked that right and said yes. Nah, I give up. <laughs> maybe that was just a hiccup. I got excited for notes. Yeah, I'm so easily excitable at this point. Jared Steck said, uh, I wonder if it's related to the long boot up I have with MSI motherboard and radio GPU. Yeah, it could be. There's definitely some sort of compatibility slash bug issue there. Come on, load into M flash. Yes, all right. Said, this is flash definitely. failed. Flash failed. Alright, let's try the other version. Hey, we're making progress. We're good. making progress. It's in the... F now it's in the flash... Uh, BIOS flashback USB port. It's in the correct port. Flash failed. <clears throat> Have they given me a board with a non-writable BIOS? It's like one of their test boards. It got out of their labs. They weren't meant to send this board out. Honestly, it wouldn't surprise me. You should know how to flash your motherboard, by the way, by this point. I, I do now. Yeah. It's usually very easy. I also know how to use a keyboard now, too. Yeah, you've learned how to use a keyboard. Come on, good vibes, chat. <laughs> I'm thinking it's. I'm still. I'm still thinking it's the Radeon GPU, but no, I don't know what this next issue is. I, honestly, it could be that we've tried to flash the bias so much that we've. But it wasn't trying. We'll just. We'll just relax. Be 
think viewers are going off of it. People are enjoying it, obviously. I love Charlie. I'm enjoying it. <laughs> Not. I want to get something to eat, something to drink. I've got bail on the biggest T bone stay. <laughs> Very big. Very happy lad tonight. Yeah. If not sleepy, probably. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> what is going on? I'll try this one. Interesting. Stefan said uh, it could be the SSD as well. Yeah, yeah, but look, it could be any one of the components. Let's try the ver version. Let's try this version. Because the one, the one four two didn't work. Gold bullets are still calling the CPU. Yeah, we know that works. Come on, do something. Don't just say BIOS failed. Nah, I'm done. Take it home. <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, we'll try BIOS flashback, I guess. Ryan will be happy with you if you do that. Yeah, he will. <laughs> oh my god. Just very persistently, uh, nicely saying, only flashback's gonna work here. He's probably right. Doesn't seem to have done anything. It flashed for a little bit and then stopped. Oh, hang on. I haven't renamed it on this stick. That's why. I don't think. Hang on. Let me go check. Hang on. I got to rename it. Yeah. 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 I'm pretty sure. You can look up the instructions for that board if you want, but I'm pretty sure. This one is called MSI ROM. I think this is. Did I? I think I had this one in. This one's been renamed. Alright. Alright. It's flashing. Oh. It's powered up. Now flashing lots. I think this is the 1.42 that I renamed before. I did it so long ago now, it was like an hour ago. We, we need to change internet. Okay. Is it right if I do it now? Yep. Just yeah, just move to your yeah. don't even disconnect from balance. Yeah, I'm just turning on. Yeah. Yep. If the stream goes down for one second, don't panic, we're just changing something. Screen. Yeah, that look better? Yeah, Yep, you should be able to unplug it now. You can act straight away. Yeah, successful. And we just want to get that to 18,000. If it doesn't do it, we'll have to connect mine. Looking like Chris's doesn't go that fast. It will give it a second. Oh, hang on, it's, it's getting faster. Yep. Yep, that's good. Okay, cool. Good. Hit the, put, it, put the phone here if it has a problem, because I'll be closer to the, yep. the antenna. Going through quite a lot of metal. And I might even just sit it here. Yep, that's fine. Yep. Okay, we're good? Yep, we're good. Right. Uh, okay, what is this system doing? I've got zero, zero debug LED. It's still flashing. I'm walking away. <laughs> Just going to clean a few things up while we wait. <laughs> Guys are saying the string goes down, we switch out the computer that works. 
<laughs> Here's one I prepared earlier. Immediately switch. Oh no, we've got to switch internet to it. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to do something that you should never do. Uh, can you see that flashing on stream? And you can see, yeah. actually, if I turn it, if I turn it that way, you can probably see the debug LED as well. well probably won't be in focus, but you know, you, can you see it? It's in focus, but it'll be tiny. Yeah, it is tiny. I'm not moving the camera. We've got enough problems. <laughs> so it's still flashing. It's still flashing. Yeah, you guys are pretty positive in chat too. <laughs> The chat sending positive vibes. Yeah. Love it. Well, we tried everything. We couldn't get it to work, so we've resorted to BIOS flashback. If that doesn't work, we're going to fire it out of a cannon. Uh, we will film that live. <laughs> we're going to shoot it down my backyard. We still have diesels, huh? Yeah. It could be flashing for up to 10 minutes, depending on the, yeah. I might get a drink, actually. I'm gonna have a snack. I'm just having a break, guys. Two minute break, fail, you take over. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Where'd those snacks go? Are they, oh, they're over here. You they're here. smashing all the snacks. <laughs> I bought them here for you. Oh, <laughs> one piece. No, you, one, guys one the, piece. you guys are the worst. <laughs> We did it out of sight from the early so mm. Very good. Here's mine. Oh, no. I didn't want one. Okay, get it? <laughs> it's getting pretty warm. Still flashing. Yeah. Excellent. It's a good 10 minutes of time, bro. See? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I'm just going to sit over here. I'm still here, guys. I'm just sitting here. <laughs> I'm eating. Man's got to eat. <laughs> I'm so hungry. History in the making, first incomplete build on YouTube. It's complete. Just can't be upgraded. It's yeah. completely <laughs> yeah. incomplete. You should have brought your guitar, Balin. Yeah, serenade chat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Got like a thousand viewers. <laughs> Do some. Can you juggle? Juggle. Yeah. I can, but I'll probably break the beautiful PC. Well, break it even more. <laughs> this one still looks huge. Yeah. yeah. Is it still flashing? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Davis said uh, Lyle would fix it in three seconds. Well, bloody get him over here. <laughs> <laughs> Send an Uber. Yeah, he's only ever in the US. It's a long car ride. Oh! We have a solid light. It's rebooting. Reboot. <laughs> Jared Stick said uh, the flashing LED on the USB stick is Morse code for bricks. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Jared. Alright, I've had a drink, I've had something to eat, I'm recharged, I'm good to go. I'm ready for another 400 fail attempts. And more of Jared's. Jared's actually going to come over in a month or two for a PC build. And if this happens with Jared's, I'm actually just leaving. Yep. I'm going to go have a nice barbecue lunch. Jared can work this out on his own. <coughs> we'll have to switch internet again. Um, we're going to need that sound effect in a minute. Which one? Oh, I can't do it because of my voice. <coughs> Hardware unbricked. Hardware unbricked. Who was it in chat that was got was it who'd you say, Stuart or someone? What's that? That was wanted us to use the bias flashback? You said it was a uh, Okay, we've got here <coughs> Ooh, I've never seen that before ever. Okay, that doesn't sound good at all. Do you wanna take a close up photo of that? We made it <coughs> could not locate target 
targets partition. So this is the um, Megatrends BIOS. So that either failed or we bricked to the board when I hit a key. I would update it. I don't understand. Is it updated? Nobody really knows. <laughs> what? what? Alright, let's try and... It's the latest version. Maybe that happens when you use BIOS Flashback. I haven't used it for a while. I don't remember that happening though. Someone in chat will tell us if that's normal or not. I forgot to say take the thumb drive down. Done it. Shouldn't really matter, but I've done it anyway. Uh, you definitely don't want to install Windows before you do all this. No, you do this first. Because otherwise we'd have to disconnect the SSD because it'd be trying to boot into Windows every single time and you end up corrupting your Windows install before your BIOS flashed. Okay, well, there it is, guys. We have the latest BIOS and XMP's loaded. It's working. Chris, take your computer. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> End the stream. I'm done. I'm done. So it turns out it probably wasn't the Radeon GPU, though it stopped locking up, didn't it? The M flash when you were in BIOS to reset stopped locking up when we removed this, so there could be something to that. Don't know about that one. Um, but we've got it working now. The fan speed's very high. It's loud. Um, I'll rebuild it off stream. Right now I'm going to go have a barbecue dinner and relax. Have a drink. So, do you want to come and say goodbye? Say goodbye and, and thanks for your PC. Say thanks, MSI. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you very much, everyone. Uh, everyone in chat, thanks, MSI, uh, AMD. It's unreal. I am absolutely stoked. Yeah, thank you very much. Yep. Thanks, we'll be very thanks, stoked tonight Island. when we're gaming on it. Yep. So, we'll, we'll go away and we'll install Windows now. We'll download all the games uh, while we're having dinner. And then we're going to come back and we're going to be playing on the Gaming Unbox channel. So if you want to come and... Join us there. Yep. Laugh at Chris and I and Balin, because Balin's going to stay and play some games with us as well. So there'll be at least the three of us. And he's getting his voice changer installed on these machines. Yep. And um, I'll probably be doing some sort of weird ASMR, because my voice will be completely <laughs> flogged by then. Um, <laughs> but yes, thank you to all the companies that sent us hardware. G-Skill for the memory, Leon Lee for the case... MSI for the power supply, the liquid cooler, the motherboard, the monitor, AMD for the CPU and the graphics card, which we will put this beast back in in a moment and we'll put, put it all back together. And yeah, we'll be back in about two or three hours, I think. Um, we, we'll be back, yeah, in, in some amount of hours and we'll let you know how Chris's PC is going. But anyway, thanks to everyone who tuned in. Uh, Bias flashback for the win there. Seems to have worked. Uh, it seems like it's all fine now. Thank you, chat. Thank you, chat, as always. Thanks for hanging in there with us, guys. Uh, yeah, we have some more cool content coming up on the channel over the next little bit. So, yeah. And have a good Christmas, New Year's, all that stuff. And, yeah. Be thanks. safe, have fun. Yep. All right, guys. We'll catch you later. Bye.